Well, once again, another fucking shitty week. Monday really sucked. I got to work and my boss told me that I didn't get everything done from last weekend. Mr. Kennedy, the reports from last week still aren't done. What were you doing? Tuesday, on me again. Got a fucking parking ticket. Sir, do you realize that you were doing 120 in a school zone? Can I get you to please exit the vehicle? Wednesday's hump day. That means I get fucked in the ass. You want that raise or not? Thursday, all I can think about is tomorrow's Friday. And on Friday, they tell me I gotta come in on the weekend. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get you to come in on the weekend there, Sean. Saturday, I show up to work, nobody wants to even be here, they forgot that I was supposed to even show up. Jesus Christ, I can't even wait for Sunday night. Sunday night's all I live for, I hate this fucking place. What the hell? <laughs> it's Sunday night at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it's time for the What the Hell Show with Samarian and Sean Kennedy, the fucking man. Time for two hours of temporary insanity. If you like what you're hearing, email me. To be reminded of the show every week. Come on in and chat with the regulars on the Downnet servers and the Rant Radio channel. Or give us a call on our toll-free line. And now for the show you've waited six days, 22 hours to listen to. It's what the hell? We are back once again, and there's the Dr. Pepper. Start cracking them open. Start cracking them open. It's the What the Hell Show. It's the What the Hell Show. It's all good. So here we are. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do a quick run through. Who's in the room? And then we're gonna run through the intro. And then we're gonna talk about. Dak. Dak's story, because he's got a killer level story, because he's got a fuck off. Fuck I have to go ass. to work. My life sucks. So he has to run away laughing. Have you plugged in your microphone? It's sitting over there. Oh, he's Check using. one, two. Porn okay. on beta has it's on that. It's porn with beta. Porn on beta's got it. Porn. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's go around the room and do not pull the cord out of the wall. No, Put down your microphone couch. and go up to the camera. That's all you need to do. Someone knocking? I thought I heard something. Nobody rang. Somebody did knock. Okay. Could you check that out? Oh. Oh, projectile vomit, man. That would be most I appreciated. I wasn't moving. I will go with projectile vomit. <laughs> I just went like this to the cord. Go around the room. What are we going to do, Sean? You're, you're leaving. Not here. Ah! No. Oh, ratings dropping. Listeners leaving. Oh, oh no. Sean not here. I can't Sean hear you. God. There you go. Morning. Morning. Okay, porn on beta first. Did somebody sneak through the security guard at yes, my front was. door? Why it's DJ Jazzy Jesse Fresh. Fresh. Ever Everglade. Your mic is off or something, Sean there. Did you Now it's off? DJ Jazzy Jeff Popery Everglade Fresh okay. fucking thing. Porn on the wall. 15 seconds of fame is over. She's in the way, Next. though. I can't see it. <laughs> okay. So, get up. Are you in the camera? Did oof, everyone... Oof. 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 There's Dak. Dak is in the camera. Insecurity. I have to fucking leave. But we can't hear you, so don't say anything. <laughs> That's a great shot. Yep. <laughs> okay, then we have Ronan Medic. <laughs> Medic! Hey. <laughs> That's another great shot. Then we have 200% Watch the cords. Projectile vomit man. You have <laughs> sexy projectile vomit. Very man. sexy. Very sexy. Uber eye. <laughs> Uber eye. Doing I. Cthulhu cam. Okay, and Cthulhu tongue cam. Okay, and then we have DJ Jazz Jess Potpourri. Everglade. Everglade. <laughs> Potpourri in a spray. Maybe that. Maybe then you might know what it's like. Digging okay, for so. gold. Digging for nuggets. And Digging then we have them. the one, the only. Oof. 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 Who they chant his name in Oof. Conan when they all Oof. yell, Oof. Oof. Many people Oof. think they're saying Doom, they're not. And also doing the Frank Herbert cam. And of course, there's myself, Sean Kennedy. The, the fucking, fucking man. man. Just G one second. TFM. Going up to the camera. With an awesome shirt. Don't piss me off. I can't see the rest because. Running around places to hide the bodies. Running out of places, to hide, the the bodies. Bodies. <laughs> out of places to hide the bodies. There's Sean K in the cam. You know the average crawl, crawl space is only so big. <laughs> and then we have the one, the only Sumerian. <laughs> okay, so you know, he's so suave and Let's go down the MRC chat channel. That will take forever. Here? If you just turned in and you're listening, well, we'll probably tell, oh, my God, it's... There's a few people there. Oh, my God, it's a cult crowd. Imagine my <laughs> surprise. Really? All the cult members listen to the oh, show? Oh, and they're... <laughs> yeah. Holy really? fuck, who's, who's announced? I can't it read it from here. It's, it's going to take forever. We're going to do it. Yeah, we'll do it now. Do it now. Okay. 
Ah, we got uh, Mr. Echo watching. The gargoyles are always watching. Uh, Cenobites, we have DJ Intensity. Ophie Dofi. For Deckers, we've got Demon Seed, Indicrit, Lieutenant Major Zombie. And Test Rider. For Flesh Trippers, we got Forensic and Rooster. For Gargoyles, we've got Adam, Josh K, and KGHI. Nomads, we got Buck X, Half Elf, Skitty, and Street Preacher. Prophets, Nixter, No Deal, Scribe, Smokehouse, Soylent, O, Zerstor, Fear Machine, Snow, Stone Mist, and when people not in the cult are Let's Poke the Politicians. Yes! I like that name! What's that? What was the name? What was the name? Let's, poke the, let's poke the politicians. <laughs> Join at thecult.org. Melio Aristocrat. Uh, Voodoo Glow Skull. Welcome, Voodoo. Hey, wow. Voodoo. Waif Boy and Pele and Kendra. Kendra. They ever so sexy, Kendra. Kendra. Sexy. Really quick, real quick update before real we quick. go. Really quick. On what? On, uh, just on that reality run. That's a big update. No, I need people, because they took my name off. We'll tell, discuss this more later. They took my name off. Somebody needs to monitor that site and tell me oh. when my name goes back up. Yeah, okay, please, please look the, through the 1,500 entries. Yeah. Well, fuck, that's nothing for this. Is it guys. alphabetical? No. <laughs> no. It is no order. We've, we've uploaded it again. <laughs> there, there, we'll tell you what happened there later, okay? There's supposed to be a picture there now, so there may be a picture. It may not be a picture. But it'll be Sean K. TFM. TFM in brackets, okay? Something like so that. So somebody find it again because they tried to fuck with us, but we fucked them back. We'll tell, we'll you, tell about you more that. about that later. Yeah. So let's go straight to your old Uncle Dak with his crazy-ass story that he's got going on here. Yeah, apparently... This is called... Road rage. When road, road rage goes bad. I, actually, I wasn't going to tell, but mention about, I was going to mention about the road rage because we already talked about that. Yeah, a we done well, that. This, was, this we is when that. this is when New York kids go bad. This is when New York kids oh, come yes. to be safe. culture shock. We'll culture call this culture one. shock. This is when culture shock goes bad. Okay, yeah. let me play the intro. It's culture shell shock. But it's culture, culture. so it can't go bad. <laughs> Don't get caught in the ghetto. Getting caught in the ghetto is a motherfucking no no. Get caught in the ghetto, you are sure to me. Mr. Boots, Mr. Feet, Mr. Billy Club, and Mr. Concrete. <laughs> Pull up a chair and grab a loved one. It's time once again for gross, 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 gross hospital stories with your old Uncle Dak on Rant Radio. Rant Radio. Rant Radio. Rant Radio. Rant Radio. Not like it's hard to find the instrumental. Anyway. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, boys and girls, I, I that's a, that's a misnomer. This is not a gross hospital story, but it's a Dak story. But it's an Uncle Dak story. That's your intro. Yes, it's an Uncle Dak story. Now you see, Porn on Beta and I got into a discussion on violence, which you know seems to come up with my name so often. Dak violence. Very, yeah. very predominant. And what do you think of when I say the word Dak? Uh, <laughs> violence. violence. <laughs> Dear Jesus, I'm just spleens dead. exploding. <laughs> so. Uh, we got into talking about the worst thing I ever did to somebody when I was in New York, which involved a knife fight and me opening the guy's side up with a like playing tic tac toe with a knife on his ribs, and it was like a like a you know stick on a fence. Uh, and then came to the worst incident I ever did here in Canada, and it took like I had to explain the story to explain the story. It's one of those kind of things. Um, I had just come here from New York. I had only I had lived in New York for about 16, 17 years. How many years? Does S- 16 or 17, 17 years. years. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's a Dak laying down the law story. That's what like somebody said. It's like more than said. half my life. <laughs> Dak laying the smack that down. Yep. So I come up here, and I'm about a week late getting sco- started for school. And uh, they've shoved me into this little pissant H.D. Stafford, which is local in Langley. I, I am also really, really pissed off because of the education system. For, for those of you who aren't aware of the difference between New York and Langley, BC. which is... Everybody where, knows which, the which, difference which, between New York and Langley. Langley has the, be, the, be, the best way to describe it... For those of you who don't know the, the difference between New York dis- and Langley, die. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to describe it for the uninitiated is he moved from Boys in the Hood to Leave it to Beaver. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, leave it. To, uh, leave Even it. To, Wally could kick Langley's ass. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Not this Langley. <laughs> so here, here I come. As my, I'm about a week shy of the. It's week week past the start update. I'm really annoyed at being here. I'm not happy. They give me all my books. They sh- send me down to my locker. I'm supposed to put everything away, and some kid comes up behind me, shoves me from behind. I smack my head into the coat hook. And I and I hear the word <laughs> nerd. Well, 
Uh, okay, so no, 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 no. This, 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 I under, this, this I understand. This I understand. I've just been attacked. Okay, that, that, I, that I can deal with. That Usually, I, can. I mean, it's, you're expecting it. I'm expecting it. Okay, now you know. I, I turned my back. I let myself be a target. That was my fault. Now I have to turn around and basically rectify matters. Well, I turn back, and I'm confused because I see the person who just did it, and he's laughing and walking away, and he's not facing me. Why is that? I, I don't know. I, I, Merry I, Christmas, Uncle Dak. Uh, <laughs> well, D Uncle Dak is confused. He, he doesn't understand what's going on here because, you see, when you do this to somebody, you know they're going to come back at you, don't you? It seems logical to me. <laughs> Not if you're a typical nerd who's been beaten into submission and just holds it, like knowing they're oh. This is a wild, untamed New York nerd versus <laughs> the broken and tamed Langley nerds. <laughs> so... I basically have, I haven't got my books put away yet. I have this bag that weighs with about 40 pounds of books. So I run up and I cold cock him in the back of the head. <laughs> Seems perfectly logical to me. He goes, to, he goes down. I jump on top of him and I figure if I smack his brains out on the pavement, he'll know enough to leave me alone. And well, this, will, this will send a message to the others that yes. I, will, I will fight back. And if you kill him, then pff, cool, he won't buck you anymore. Yeah, exactly. So I start pounding his brains out. Now, somebody comes up on my, le on my right side where I can't really see, kind of on my blind spot. And I figure, oh, one of his friends is jumping in. Cool, I can deal with that. So I bring the elbow back. I hear a nice, meaty, solid crunch. You know the kind that, that tells you you've just connected with cartilage? Spark. Uh, <laughs> so I turn around, get up, and I figure he's got a couple more friends. So I, I know I got that guy at least backed off a bit. I got to get ready for the others. Well, I stand up, and there's nobody standing there. Okay, I'm confused once again. I thought his friends were getting into it. Well, I look over in the corner, and there's the local shop teacher with his nose spread all over his face. Oh. Well, uh, fortunately, they had a very understanding, uh, you know, uh, counselor, uh, counselor, <laughs> <laughs> counselor in the school, and uh, they only gave me two weeks suspension. <laughs> Not bad. You no, know, I, I was able to explain myself quite reasonably, I think, and and. Uh, uh, the, to my point of view, where I was coming from and what had happened and, and my, my opinions. And they let me come back in two weeks. Now, I come back in my first day. I have a class with this kid whose name, um, we're just going to call him Brian because, you know, that way there'll be no lawsuits. Not that I'm actually scared of his lawyers. I could kick their asses too. But <laughs> <laughs> Hope? <laughs> Is his last name Hope or Cool? Uh, joy. Joy. Brian Joy. <laughs> okay, we're not talking about Brian Joy. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, We were speaking with him earlier, so it works out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I, the first day back in class, he comes up to me. You fucking asshole, you hit me from behind. Um, yeah. From now, from, from now on, Brian Joy will refer to as this fuckface. Okay, so this fuckface <laughs> says, I'm going to fucking kick your ass. And I'm like, okay, let's go. <laughs> We're in class, and I'm like, he's like, well, not here. I'm like, well, what the fuck is your problem? If you're going to, like, mouth off, let's fucking do something about it. Hey, fuck you. I'll kick your ass. I thought you were going to do something. Let's go. I stand up. As the teacher looks over, Mr. Kilroy, is there any problems? I'm like, no, I've just got to kick somebody's ass here. And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> There, Mr. Will, there Mr. will be no problem. Everything is under control. Uh, Mr. Kilroy, sit back down. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. Conduct your class as normal. <laughs> Move along. So, what, you think you're some kind of Jedi? <laughs> <laughs> this is shop class. Only metal works on me. <laughs> so, <laughs> no credits, so, no parts. <laughs> so I sit back down. The teacher is like looking like he's waiting for something. Joy's like, after fucking school. I'm like, okay, bring friends. So... <laughs> <laughs> We'll make a party of it. <laughs> It'll be a good thing. We, we go to after the, the end of day. We go outside. School comes. We start off the fight. Now, I, I find years later, I'm able to piece together what it must have been like from his point of view. Three o'clock high. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's expecting me to be worried about this. He's expecting me to be like concerned. He's like trying desperately to hold on to his esteem and his pride because supposedly everybody's coming up to me during the day, going, "You're getting into a fight with the toughest kid in school." And I'm like, uh, "Okay, does he like know martial arts or something?" Uh, no. Is, well, is he going to have a, like a knife or a gun? Because you know I got to get one then. <laughs> I'm not. So I'm what, you're make it what, even. You're, what you're telling me here is he was uh, he was expecting Barry Manilow and he wound up with Deicide. Yeah, <laughs> something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. <laughs> so, uh, so, <laughs> so I I step outside and and he's expecting to have that long thing of like. 
I'm going to kick your ass, you know, shove. Oh, the, the, uh, the, the, and now the geeks will begin bumping chest in the mating ritual. Yeah, exactly, right? Which he may not one. lead to real force. This is what he's expecting, right? You know, so I'm like, no, this is not how we play the game because where I'm from, you take a man down hard and fast or you get your ass kicked because it just, you know, time doesn't really count in these things. Because the it, boys in the hood are always hard. <laughs> Come <laughs> talk in that trash. We'll pull, pull your car. car. <laughs> so... We step up. He starts basically, I'm going to fucking kick your ass. So I throw my glasses over my shoulders. I don't care if they hit the ground or whatever. You know, it, it's, it makes a good symbol when you do that. I start off by chopping him in the throat and leading off on his nose. He goes down. I start basically pummeling on him, and then I start basically putting the boot to him. No, no, no. Say it how you said it to me earlier. I, I kick For him. the next few minutes. Yeah, next <laughs> couple of minutes, I start. I kick him. Uh, but, but, but. <laughs> No, no, not no. I basically every time he tried to get back up, I would just basically put a boot into his side. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed. And, hey, and, hey, I wasn't really trying to hurt him. I stayed away from his head and face. And what was the golden comment that I will not bring myself to steal at this time that well, you made? He, well, he starts he went from alpha male he went, to alpha bits <laughs> <laughs> in about three easy steps. Well, yes. he, he starts crying. <laughs> at which point I like stop because I've never actually broken like somebody who's in shape in my weight class into tears before and you're all and confused now. i'm confused this is this is not supposed what? to happen what are you doing <laughs> are you okay <laughs> Why is he crying? Why? I this guy crying. in the head Why? $20 can buy mini peanuts <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I i stopped kicking him i tell him okay fine we we've, we've worked this out you know enough leave me the fuck alone don't talk to me don't talk near me I don't, don't ever, ever want to speak to me again. <laughs> I hope somebody cuts your head off, man. <laughs> I never want to fucking see you again. Okay, so fine. Move. Move away. Move to a non-English speaking country. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill people that look like you. I'm going to kill people that owe you money. <laughs> That's profitable. <laughs> so... I basically go back. About a week later, he decides he's going to do it again, and he's going to bring a couple of friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, Which, that, you know, oh, no, that, no, this I'm used to. This, this, is, this is the way that things were done in the old country. So, you, so, you're, <laughs> so, so you're starting, you're like, oh, I understand yeah, this. Now, now, now we're back at levels of things that I understand. So he's coming after me with a couple of people. So <laughs> they, they made, however, made the mistake of choosing it at the time when they were doing some construction near the smoke hole. So I walk over, pick up a two-by-four. Lay into them. I only had to hit these guys like maybe once or twice each, and that was they ran <laughs> with away. With a two by four. With a two by four. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> no, I don't suppose there was a nail in the two by four. No, there wasn't. It was just oh, okay. just backwards. It was just it was just, <laughs> it was just a two by four. I only had to hit these guys once or twice. That once was again, the... Spuck. <laughs> And the two by four, when it uh, reverberates, does not make a pang. It's more of a bung sound. You know those like, and if they're finally tuned, it'll motherfuckers. You know, and you know they go outside. You got like the bottom where you get that vibrating thing. What a visual! You know, what a visual! You've got like the slow mo happening. You've got like the the bad eighties. You've got the haze. From the smoke hole billowing around, and you have like don't the forget one the guy. pitch shift on the voice. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got like the one guy with the two by four with blood running down it, running back from <laughs> Cloverdale. Okay, Junior, I'm having a Paul secondary. Creed Rocky flashback. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> so. I I kicked the crap out of them. They leave. No me. one leaves the smoke <laughs> hole alive. <laughs> I kicked the crap out of them. They leave me alone. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> What's the surprise? What it's, happened? Well, we had to go. Beat the well, fuck out of nerds with three big jocks. He picked up a two by four and killed us. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we got here, Peter. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You know, who to thunk it? You know. So okay, now I've just set you all up to give you what ends up being the story where I do the worst damage I've ever done to somebody. Okay, you better make it quick. Cause yes, we got I know. A couple minutes. It's coming I know. up. I know. Yeah. So anyhow, uh, this individual turned around and screwed me. I'm not going to get into the whole story behind that, and I was going to try and kill him. I was seriously really, really pissed off. I wanted this guy dead. I was going to try and kill him when I got my hands on him. You should sort of simply hear, this isn't the same person. No, this is not the yeah. same person. This is another guy who basically pissed me off. So I was coming for him. Now, there is a kid by the name I've mentioned a couple of times as my brother, Travis. He ended up being my foster brother. My mom took care of him for a while, but this is before this. At the time, Travis was, uh, and I use the term loosely, 
the lackey, lackey for basically this other guy, the guy I was coming to kill. And he managed to convince Travis that he was the wronged party and that I was this complete and utter savage fucking animal and that Travis had to basically stand up and do something about me or I was going to kill him. Travis was also the, other, the only other kid in the school who I actually respected physically. So the two of us end up meeting. I'm coming for the unnamed individual. <laughs> Travis steps up. I'm like, get the fuck out of my way. I want the asshole. He's like, I'm sorry. I don't yeah, know what the fuck well, your you problem. Your, I don't know what the fuck your problem <laughs> is, but <laughs> you basically want him. You're going to have to go through me. The fight lasted for 15 minutes, and I'm that's not making. Long fight. That's um, very long. That's like kung fu is movie that, kind of like. Is that like uh, 15 <laughs> minutes of circling, or is that 15 minutes of throwing punches? The, not. We weren't throwing punches. We it's were wrestling. For, we were wrestling for most wrestling of it. Wrestling for 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Oh. I ended up with a broken wrist and a couple broken knuckles. And uh, basically one of my teeth, the caps knocked off. He ended up with uh, a couple of bites. Just bite. by sheer attrition, yeah, all he, these uh, yeah, things yeah. came about. He ended up with basically a cracked ankle and a broken nose and a scar, which he has to this day. Okay, can I ask a question? Closer yeah. to the mic. Okay, think Closer to the mic. Things like a broken ankle and a broken wrist, okay. Mm-hmm. Did these no, he happen? wasn't broken. We were talking, it was just cracked. He was okay, like really you small. You had a broken wrist. No, I had a, bro- I had a broken wrist. Oh, yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, but, now, those two things, you know, especially happening to two separate people, did those things happen, like, simultaneously? No. And then the fight ended, or you kept fighting with a we busted kept, wrest? Yeah, we kept oh, fighting with no a busted problem. wrist. Oh, yeah, that's no sweat. You, you probably didn't realize it was busted for fucking another couple hours. Oh, yeah, hours. I guess. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's fine. So, yeah. finally, the t- finally, the two of us terrible. basically collapse. And we cannot basically do anything anymore. We was basically, the two holds kind of broke. We are laying there. And one of us, to this day, we do not know who Sue asked the question, why the fuck are we fighting? At which point the whole story comes out. At which point Travis realizes he's been lied to severely. That's bad. And he also realizes he's just been used. That's very bad. Travis and he's is, also been beat up for being used. Yes. <laughs> he's, Trav- he's a man scorned. Travis, <laughs> Travis now decides and, that, that... Oh, your story just got ended. Ah, uh, well... This uh, may be Bill. It could be Bill Lassard from Bill Lassard from Net Wired Slave. magazine. Wired, Met, Wired, Wired magazine and Netslaves. Hi, you're on what the hell? Who's this? This is Bill Lassard of Netslaves. All oh, right, what Bill. The hell? What the hell's? All right, all right, excellent. How you doing, man? We're doing very, very well. We got a full house here tonight, Bill. It's good to hear your voice again. I hope everything's going well for you. One quick thing. Goodbye, everybody. I'll talk to you next week. Bill. Bye, Uncle Dak. Say bye to Uncle Dak. Goodbye, Uncle Dak. Bye, All right. Uncle Dak. All right. So, how are you doing? What's uh, how's uh, what time is it there right now? Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty at night. Yes. Oh, I thought you were in uh, in California there. No, I'm in New York, man. Ah. So let me ask you guys something. <laughs> Go right ahead, buddy. Am I am I at liberty to curse? You can swear your fucking head off. Yes, shut, fuck, damn, piss, cunt, hell. Whatever you like to do, go crazy. We're in Canada. No rules here. Nothing can stop us. Great. In that case, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, Cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker. motherfucker. Yep, you got it. What's said? (laughs) Absolutely. So let's uh, see. uh, How are things going with that interview that we fired down with you there, Bill? We are working on it. And as I mentioned to you in the email... Wired News is not as quick about things as you and I are, unfortunately. <laughs> Imagine oh, that. Bureaucracy is slow. It should be going up later this week, God willing, or something willing. The perpetual week just keeps on going. Huh? Well, I'll put it to you this way, man. I mean, we sent them something, Jesus, I guess it was last week, and it took them until, like, Tuesday to post it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's good to see they're right up to date. Hey, it's all good. We were just we just <laughs> Look, it only it only confirms all of my frustrations about this business. <laughs> You're not at all frustrated with this, are you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you have to Things... purchase yourself a high-powered rifle and stock office to office. <laughs> Let me you... tell you. I mean, for people who don't know who the hell I am, I guess I should introduce myself. Go By for all it. Means. Absolutely. Uh, Bill Lassard, NetSlave extraordinaire, co-founder of NetSlaves.com, and co-author of NetSlaves, the book. And what that's about is basically...
basically how much bullshit it is to work in the new media industry. And I'm sure the both of you and everybody listening to this program will agree with me. We're all in the same bed together, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, and it's a big sticky ride. <laughs> so uh, let's talk a little bit about Net Slaves. When, when was that published, and uh, what's the book about? All right, well, the whole Net Slaves thing started in... 1998, way before everybody else was bitching about the web. And how it all came about was, basically, I was getting downsized out of my seventh job in seven years. Now, I don't know whether it's bad luck or I was really bad in another life, but <laughs> I've worked at some of the most, the shittiest companies in the new media business. And I've been in this business since 1992, before, you know, IPO and stock options and every, everything else became, you know, household words. And that's... And, you so, know, I've worked, at Pro, I've worked at Prodigy, I worked at Time Warner's Pathfinder, and I've worked at all these startups that are, you know, well, you know about startups. So, so what, what, what you're saying here, uh, Bill, is that you're saying that... Uh, you know, you're not some fucking, you know, 19-year-old kid who's just kind of new on the scene and, wow, all of a sudden I've discovered all my dreams are shattered. You've been doing this since 92, and holy fuck, it really is a fucking shitstorm. Exactly, and the problem was that I was 32 years of age at the time when I first started this thing, and I felt like fucking Willie Loman. I mean, in a sped-up economy, burnout comes quicker. So there I was getting downsized basically for the seventh seventh year in a row, and I said, what the fuck am I going to do with myself now? I do not want to get involved in e-commerce. I, I did not go to school for half my life, okay? <laughs> Sell shoes online. No, I have no interest in becoming the Al Bundy of cyberspace. <laughs> Wow, you know, I've got a different kind of rage, Bill. You've got that, <laughs> that kind of incense burning down the cone, and you know when it burns down the cone and at the base it's really, really wide and hot? Your incense cone is like 40 fucking stories tall, man, and it's like the size of Denver at the base. You know what I mean? And it's all at the I burning thing. I believe phase. I know what it means. Oh, my God. I'm, so I'm winding down at this job, right, and I'm figuring what the fuck am I going to do? I, I feel like the biggest fucking loser in the world because the fucking mainstream media, you know, the bullshit U.S. media, all they, write, all they were writing about at the time was, oh, so-and-so is a 23-year-old billionaire and he started the company in his dorm room and yada, 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 yada. So I'm sitting around saying, what the hell am I going to do with myself now? So I'm sitting there everybody's getting fired out of my job, out of where I was working. And then I said to myself, you know, I want to do something totally psychotic. So I came up with this original idea that I wanted to do toilets across America. <laughs> I wanted to go on a cross-country trip and take a picture of every toilet that I used and write about it. So Someone in our audience seems to want to... I contacted Baldwin, Steve Baldwin, my, my future partner, and, you know, he was running this site called Ghost Sites of the Web. It's a site devoted to dead uh, websites. It's like an obituary column. So I hit him with this idea about the toilets, and, you know, he looked at me kind of funny because, frankly, it's a dumb idea. So then we, we started kicking around different thoughts, and, um, and I said, well, none of, them was, none of them were working. So I said, okay, well, what do you want to do? And he said, well, I'd like to write a book about this business. And I said, well, it'd be a very short book. <laughs> <laughs> the end. He says, no, 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 no. I'd like to write a book about the real life people in this business who haven't hit it big. So I went home that night and for some reason, Studs Terkel's working popped into my head. Now, for those of you who don't know who the hell Studs Terkel is, he wrote this book in the 70s called Working and it's a book that consists of interviews with real-life people and what they do for a living and how they feel about what they do for a living. So I went back to Baldwin and I said, well, why don't we do the cyber cyberspace equivalent of that book? And, you know, so we went with it. And as, a, you know, a leftover from working, 
we substituted real life job titles for internet jobs and we kind of arranged them into a caste system. So at the bottom, instead of tech support, we have garbage men. <laughs> we have, you know, product managers or fry cooks. Oh, awesome. Freelancers are cab drivers and on and on and on. And the point of it all was to demystify what it's really like to work in this business. To get rid of the lie. I don't know about you, but every time I would go to a party and, you know, you get the inevitable question, oh, what do you do for a living? And then you say, oh, well, I work in the Internet business. People look at you like, you know, a billion dollars is going to fall out of your pocket. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. That's oh. right. We impress people all the time with our big titles we make up. And, and, then they, and then they automatically hit you with, you know, I'm having problems with my windows. You know, and then they try to get you to fucking do tech support with them right then and there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and as, as if, as if just because you work in the internet business, you can also fix whatever fucking dumbass problem they have with their computer. Me you know? Meanwhile, you're well, standing on a corner with a, with a sign saying, we'll do tech support for food. <laughs> yeah, no shit. We'll code for food. Yeah, we'll code for food. <laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. So, so we put together a book proposal, we sent it out, and, you know, everybody wiped their ass with it and sent it back. Oh, that's 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 that's, that's standard. I, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, you, ta you basically it was you guys are two idiots who cares about a bunch of pissed off techies. <laughs> Negative, blah 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 blah. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Hmm. We were at the point of strangling ourselves with our scuzzy cables. <laughs> okay. Let's take this to the people. So we took the charred remains of our book proposal and we shoveled it up online. And within a week, I don't know how anybody found us, but they found us. And we started getting all this email from people. The tech press started writing about us. You know, we, we started hearing from people in Australia. And they were like, right on. Finally, somebody is cutting through the bullshit of what it's really like to work in this business. Sounds very familiar to our uh, our little thing that we're doing here. Yeah, People I don't giving it to them straight. Yeah, I don't suppose uh, you see any sort of parallels there at all, do you, Bill? I see great deal of parallel. Yeah, no kidding. You know, we're all in the same boat where you know we're independent people. And we're out there, and we're trying to make a difference with this stuff. And you know what? You know, the, the mainstream media will write about us, and they'll say things. But you know what? The more reporters I, I talk to, the more disillusioned I become. Because you ask yourself, okay, well, you know, the tech press is now writing about all these dot-com failures. But I have to wonder, where were these fucking cocksuckers six months ago? <laughs> yeah, it's like all of a sudden people aren't making it. Well, no shit, fuckface. It's been happening for the last eight fucking years. I think I just... yeah, it's like, fucking wake up, you know? <laughs> and the thing is, it's either A, they don't know any better... And I believe that's valid because most of the people who cover tech business have never worked in the fucking tech business. <laughs> yeah, talk about the blind... I mean, you know, fucking Esther Dyson, the queen of ICANN, the, you know, the, the, the guru of all gurus, she's never had a fucking job in her life. <laughs> Oh. I'd like to see her go work at a fucking tech support desk in some subterranean call center for six months for ten bucks an hour, sitting on her fucking fat ass, right, with a with a with a microphone around her neck and two fifteen minute breaks every fucking six hours, and then come back and talk about the beautiful. Glorious world of technology. It's magical. Oh, it's, it's awesome. just magic. You slap, you snap your fingers, and all these great things happen. <laughs> oh, you, all right. So anyway, getting back to my the, my main fucking point here. Just before, you know, just a, they've never had a job in the tech business, or B, they don't give a fuck. You know, and I really think that a lot of people don't care. They write the stories. Because most of them are freelancers, they write the stories they think the magazines will publish. 
They're whores. They're whores, Bill. They're fucking whores. That's what they are. You know it. I know it. They're, they're fucking hookers, man. Incidentally, just so you know, we're probably going to, like, rip most of this recording and we're going to, like, put it in circulation on Rant Radio so everyone can get this because you're really spilling some beautiful shit here, Bill. Oh, this, thank you, man. This I'm is totally th out of my mind, okay, <laughs> as if you didn't know that. <laughs> I'm still living the life. Don't think, okay, that because I have a book and a fucking website that I have a Bentley parked out back with like four hot bisexual women, you know, of, of, of various ethnic and racial origins. It's like that. It ain't like that. You, you can borrow mine if you want, Bill. <laughs> we, we, okay, thanks a lot, bro. We got them lying all over the yeah, Rap Radio they're, studio. They're, let's, I'll, I'll put it to you straight. I'm not snorting coke off the big titty of life. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, fuck. This is porn, man. This is awesome. Okay, so, you know, and going with hey, that... Look, I'll put it to you this way. I'm still, like, freelancing in this business, and my main client is two months behind in paying me. <laughs> That's perfect. Look, I'm walking around with fucking rage in my fucking heart. And, of course, despair and everything else. Oh, so you're, of course, you're in the IT business. Uh, we, you, we've got a friend for you. We do. We, we're here for you, Bill. We're here. Uh, now, now you hear this shit. You hear this shit. There's a lot of, you know, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Now it's gone from the future is going to be wonderful and it's coming with you at 200 million bits per second and every other possible catchphrase, insert technical term in the headline you could possibly get. It's now turned to the way of the, oh, God, we're all going to die. The Internet's crashing. Fuck. What do you... <laughs> You know what? And that's a bunch of crap, too. Oh, of course it is. Of as, course. As if, as if there, were, there was never a good internet company and there will never be a good internet company. And again, I say, the fucking whore journalists are at it again. Wow, there's a t-shirt. But uh... I can't tell you guys, I can't tell you guys how many reporters have called me and said, oh, we're doing a story about dot-com failures, and they say, I want you to find me X, Y, and Z, and if I tell them, look, I can't find that specific thing for you, they get pissed off and practically hang up on me. There's a website I visited recently. It, it's tracking the death of all these IPOs. It, up to date, how many people they laid off. It's just hilarious. Oh, fucked company? What? Yeah, fuck, yep. fuck. That fucked company? That was yep. it, yep. Yeah, that's that's a very cool website. <laughs> just yeah. hilarious. You must be just loving this shit, because all these people are having the veil ripped off, and you're just like, ah, welcome to my world, fucker. Well, you know what? I'd be lying to you guys if I, if I, if I said I wasn't, like, jerking off every time the, uh, the, the, the NASDAQ slides. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, fucking jerking off all over myself and laughing. <laughs> oh, it, it's, it's and sexy. doing a little goddamn dance. <laughs> well, I don't want these fuckers to go out of fucking business. I don't want to see people out of work. But I have true malice and hate in my heart. Too. You know what this is all has all been for me? Do you guys ever, did you guys ever see On the Waterfront with Marlon Brando? Yes. Okay, you know at the end, after Brando's character has, like, ratted out, you know, John Friendly, and he goes down, goes down to the pier, <laughs> and he goes, he approaches the little house, and he goes, John Friendly, come out of there! Well, that's, like, how I feel. <laughs> it's like, you take away your palm pilots and your venture capital and you're nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, he, and then he goes... He goes, uh, you think you're God Almighty, but you know what you are? You're a dirty, lousy, stinking mug, and I'm glad what I've done to you. You hear that? I'm glad. <laughs> well, that's how I feel, because I can't tell you, right? I can't tell you how fucking much I want to kill some of the people that I have worked for, and I want to see them suffer. And the fact that I've turned my lousy stinking job record that's full of holes it's it's full of more holes than swiss cheese and the thing that should have destroyed my career has done 
so much for it is just a, a testament to how truly screwed up this industry is. If, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, totally, man, totally. If people, like, we got a lot of people listening right now in our RRC. If guys want to go and, uh, first of all, if people buy your book, are you going to get any money from it? Uh, I think I get, like, a dollar. <laughs> uh, so if, they can either buy the book or give me a, bu- a dollar or a cup of coffee if they ever happen to run into me on the street. <laughs> well, the thing, the reason, one of the reasons why I'd like to plug your book is uh, you're firing a couple of copies, off, a couple of copies off to us, and I guess we owe you a couple of cups of coffee for that. <laughs> but uh, one one thing I did I did want to think is really positive is the fact that a lot of our listeners are usually within the age bracket of about 15, 15 to thirty is about our our listener bracket, and a lot of them are uh, young people who are still in school who are trying. You know, and a lot of them are mystified. They're like, "Fuck, man! All I got to do is get my MCSE, and that'll be it. I'll be making millions of dollars." So I think this would be a really valuable thing for these kids to fucking read and go, "Hey, whoa, yo, fucking their son! I think you better uh, rethink your uh, calculations because you're gonna get yourself fucked if you don't have a backup plan." Yeah, I mean, you really. I mean, anybody who's thinking about this, getting into this business has to be really, 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 really fucking careful. It's like the gold rush of California. There's gold. Go get the gold. And how many people fucking starve to death on the way? You know what I mean? Right. I I, I mean, how many people, how many people go to, you know, who go to Vegas, hit it big in the casinos? (laughs) How many people who go to Hollywood end up as Robert De Niro? I mean, it's luck. I mean, you, we have a, a culture that's obsessed with the CEO, right? Oh, yeah, he's the... CEO ne- is the modern rock star. He's the sex the symbol. NBC is the MTV of the dot-com generation. Make no mistake about it. I mean, fuck, your mother knows who Bill Gates is. <laughs> you think 20 years ago anybody knew the names of CEOs? I mean, yeah. and there are fucking heroes. Everybody wants to grow up what, to be like them. I mean, if this were the 60s in California, you'd have a bunch of guys in the house saying, hey, man, let's form a rock and roll band <laughs> and uh, put out an album like a million dollars. Now it's, you know, hey, man, a bunch of guys in California in the house saying, hey, man, let's form an Internet company, go public and make a billion dollars. It's and- the same thing, only that the scale has changed. And... You know, if you think that Bill Gates or is worse than any of them, you're wrong because they're all bad. I mean, I'm sure you guys heard about Larry Ellison, right? You mean the Antichrist? Yes, <laughs> the the other Antichrist. Well, get, for uh, our listeners so, who don't know, uh, why don't you fill us in? He admitted to to hiring private investigators to go through uh, Bill Gates's trash uh, to look for evidence for the government in their in their suit against him. I mean, come on now. Oh, it's cutthroat all over the place. It's a giant fucking knife fight. You know, and they and they think by throwing a little bit of splash makeup and blush on it, they're going to make it into some kind of a porn sequel where, you know, they're thinking it's all Sylvia Saint when in reality it's all Ron Jeremy. And it's just it's it's just bad, you know, it's all kinds of bad. Well, I mean, I'll put it to you guys this way. I mean, my friend is an English teacher in in Queens and um, he has a lot of students, especially male students who are, you know, foregoing college in order to go into these two-year certification programs oh, so that I... they come out with their Microsoft certification or their Cisco certification or whatever, and they say, hey, man, you know, I'm going to make 50 Gs, I'm going to get paid, all this other stuff. Well, you know what, that's all well and good, but, but realize that just as jobs, manufacturing jobs left this country in the 80s, technology jobs are going to start leaving this country as well. I mean, everybody thinks that Philip Knight was the last word, you know, in worker oppression, you know, with his 14-year-old girls making shoes for him for like a dollar a day in the Philippines. Well, in, in a few years, they're going to have people in the Philippines building fucking databases and websites and call centers and the whole deal. I mean, that's already happening in India. I mean, India is like a major outsourcing destination. Fucking so anybody who gets the, out there and thinks, oh, yeah, I'm going to have this job and I'm going to get paid and whatever is really kidding themselves. Not that people don't make money in this industry, but... You know, realize that in the global economy, you know, 
very nasty things can happen. And, and what pisses me off more than anything else is that the media doesn't want to wake up to that fact. I mean, look what happened at the WTO protests back, was it four or five months ago, right? There are people who are pissed off and think that the global economy is, it needs to be checked. And then we had the World Bank protesters in Washington in, um, I guess it was two months ago. But the media, all they have to say about it is, oh, the, the protesters are a bunch, of tr- a bunch of tree-hugging Luddites. That's right, yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, they're, all, they're completely fucked. And there's all kinds of uh, pirate video floating around on the Internet of cops fucking up protesters, of cops macing protesters. I don't know if you get a chance to run through the news groups, but I'm here to tell you, man, you can see some crazy shit for, uh, on, on the Internet of uh, just things that went on at those things that never, ever made the papers. Well, that's because, okay, the news media is populated by a bunch of people who all went to J school and they really have contempt for the people they're writing for. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I used to work, one of the many places I used to work was at Time, Inc. And, um, you know, all these people graduated from a handful of schools. Haverford, Georgetown, Columbia J School, right? They had all these very privileged backgrounds, privileged educations, you know, they were there writing about fucking existential philosophy and, you know, the, the significance of, sh- of, of mustaches and Shakespeare and all this junk, right? And then they come out into the real world and they're writing about, you know, the five sexiest guys, you know, for People magazine. They hate that. You know what I'm saying? They hate the people that they write for and they have contempt and self-loathing for themselves for stooping to write this stuff. So They don't care. I mean, everybody thinks that the New York Times is the first and last word on reality, and you know what? It isn't. No, it's not. Not even fucking close. What about, okay, for the young people that are listening and who are sitting here going, holy fuck, and they just had their world rocked by you, you know, this 40-year-old guy. It's like, oh, no, what, what am I going to do? It's, that's 34, but... 960 in internet years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're, you're, you're 34. You're painting a very bleak yeah, outlook. Yeah, it's, it's looking pretty black, man. And you asked us, you said, so is, is there any hope? Like, what do you see? Do you think do you think we're all fucked, that's it? Go go stick, go stick, suck on a 12-gauge? Or what can these kids do to give themselves a fighting chance? Well, all right, this is what I recommend. If you're going for a job, all right, well, first of all, if you're still in school and you're studying computer science, Go and get yourself an internship. Go get experience somewhere. Find out what it's really like to work in an internet company. That's okay. right. Get some real life experience. Fucking A. And then when you get out of school and you're figuring, okay, well, where do I want to go? Ask yourself what kind of life you want to have. I mean, look, if you're 23 years of age and you want to start your own company or if you want to, you know, start on at a company, hey, God bless you. You know, good luck. Just just realize that you're not going to sleep for a few years. <laughs> now, if you're less adventurous and you're working you're going to work at a more established company, you got to ask yourself a few questions. Number 1, what is the business plan? Can someone explain to you the business plan in about 10 words? And after they do that, does the business plan make sense? Is the company providing some kind of a solution that you could not get anywhere else? You know what I mean? Another thing to look at is, all right, what is the word on the street about about this particular company? What are people saying about it on discussion lists and in news groups and bulletin boards? Is it the kind of place that actually takes care of its workers? Or is it a fucking shithouse that burns people out and replaces them every six months? These are things that people need to ask themselves. And if the company is publicly traded, go to Edgar, right, which is uh, sec.gov slash Edgar, and look for the S-1 filing and just read that shit really carefully, all right? And, uh, you know, I mean, and also, I mean, it's not totally bleak, and I don't want to make that out, all right? But I'm not going to kid you in saying that 
Companies are going out of business left and right. Okay, now is not exactly the best time in the world to go work for an internet startup. On the other hand, it is a very good time to work in the IT, in the in internet division of a more established company. For instance, GM is really hip when it comes to the internet. You know, EGM is kicking ass as is as is GE. I mean, they're applying uh, Six Sigma traditional due diligence processes to the internet. So, in other words, they have a clue, and they won't be going out of business anytime soon. So, on the one hand, things are kind of fucked up right now, but the good news is that you can work for a traditional company in their internet division, and in about six to eight months, you know, the shakeout is will hopefully be over, and the companies that remain will be the companies with the clue, the companies that have a business plan and don't treat their workers like shit. So that's my advice to people. One last uh, question. You're, you're giving us some great shit here. I'd love to keep you on all night, but we can't do it. So we, I want to ask you something that's completely off topic. Yeah, sure. What do you think of Napster? What's your view on this whole MP3 Sufest? That has uh, happened here. What's your take well, on funny, it? Funny you should ask me about that because we have a poll on the NetSlave site about Napster. And the, the poll is, Napster is colon, you know, the greatest piece of software ever written, the best way to piss off Metallica, you know, a revolutionary sleep aid, or finally, you know, the greatest threat to college students since LSD. And so far, the... Uh, the, the 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 winner right by I think forty forty one percent right now is that Napster is the best way to piss off Metallica, and I I I'm conflicted about Napster. I mean, on the one hand, I'm like right on. You know, we've been paying, or we've been overpaying for CDs for so fucking long. I mean, a CD should not cost more than eight dollars. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Um, also, I feel that this whole crap with Metallica, you know, they, they try to make it seem like, oh, it's just the four of us plus our two, our two managers. It's a family business. That's a bunch of crap. They're part of, they're part of Warner Music Group. They're a global fucking business. Don't give us that bullshit. Yeah, if you could buy it directly from their site, maybe I'd buy that. Right, right. On the other hand, as someone who creates things myself, right, I mean, yes, I understand that. I mean, anybody who says that Napster is not about revenge, okay, in a, in a, to a large extent, is a liar. You know <laughs> what I mean? People are pissed off at the music business. But you know what I think? I shouldn't, I think that Napster should not be penalized for writing what is perhaps the best application for the internet since the web browser itself. You know what I mean? There, There is legitimate uses for it. Oh, fucking A, there's some legitimate uses. Distributed files for everyone to download and share. I mean, you could use it for anything. Oh, yeah. It's a revolutionary way of doing things. And uh, it's... Who wrote the code for that? Uh, it was two guys. Uh, their names escape me right now. They're out of... Uh, they're in San Bernardino, California. Well, whoever the hell they are, they're fucking geniuses. Yep. They're actually Canadian. A couple, one of them's a Canadian kid. He's from Toronto. Uh, I oh, don't well. know. They wrote it to share their music uh, over across the network, and it just ballooned from there. They thought it was a really cool idea, and it went up from there. And they got. You know what I don't like about the whole Napster, the whole Napster argument is it's like it's like do you oppose the internet or do you oppose globalization? It's like it goes back to what I was saying about the WTO. I mean, the people who are opposing. Uh, you know, the WTO meeting in Seattle, they were a bunch of tree-hugging Luddites in the eyes of the media. Yet, you know, the media didn't really say, you know, it's the, the lack of control in the global economy, all right, and globalization, which almost destroyed the fucking economy in 1997 with that whole Asia, Asia crisis. So it's like, if you're critical, it's like, you're either for Napster or you're against Napster. And if you're against Napster, well, you must be some pirate. You know what I mean? If you're for Napster, you must be some sort of pirate. And it's like, I'm for Napster, but I have a, a few issues with it. But that doesn't make me some sort of, like, 
copy copyright infringing bastard. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely because I mean with your book and everything, blah blah blah. There's all sorts of parallels. Yeah, if books got uh, really really popular on the internet and there's some sort of software like that, I'm sure you'd have something to say about it a little bit, maybe a bit differently. I don't know. Well, yeah. I mean, if people were sending around, well, I mean, look, the the rule of the internet is that you have to give in order to get. Yeah. Okay, so that Napster is good for small bands and also for large bands. But if I released a CD and, like, the whole goddamn thing was out there and nobody was buying it, maybe I would be pissed off, too. But people are buying it. CDs keep going up. The, the sales of them, it's just a... And that's why people go on tour and uh, sell tickets for 50 bucks a fucking seat. Oh, well, that's crap, too. But you see, the thing is, it's like... I'll put it to you this way. My own experience, we sold... We sold... Uh, 20,000 copies of our book in a month and a half, okay? That made, it cost McGraw-Hill a buck a book, okay? So they spent $20,000 to, to, to put out those books, you know, and we made them roughly $400,000. Do you know how much we got? We got $4,400 each after everybody took a bite out of us. Ooh. Fuck me. And you put no time into that book or anything, I mean. Yeah, you know, I just wrote it overnight, you know, it was the e easiest thing ever. Yeah, no shit. You sure. know, so I wish I could go on tour and make some money. I mean. Reading out your book. <laughs> yeah, or, you know, just screaming like I, I have been on this uh, on this show. <laughs> Well, like, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's we're uh, we're a nation that has been over marketed, cross marketed to death, you know, and everybody's w waiting on the next fucking franchise. I mean, everybody's wants to turn, well, everybody wants to to strike it rich with the next like Hobbit, you know, like the Hobbit's coming out, and they want to do it, they want to do a whole Star Wars thing with that, and everything's a sequel, and everything's a goddamn t-shirt, full, full-on marketing mindfuck assault. <laughs> I mean, you know, if it weren't for the internet, I mean, I don't know what I'd be doing, frankly, and I'm, I'm not against technology, I don't think technology is evil, but I'm, I'm just glad that, that, that we're able to all get our fucking thoughts out there, no matter what you, what you do, and you can share the same space, at least for now, with, with these large corporations. And you know they hate that, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well, that's the plan. That's why they got to hate us. And uh, that's why we're doing what we're doing, man. Listen, Bill, you've been absolutely stellar, man. And uh, stay on the line. Don't, don't hang up, because i got to talk to you after we, we go off air here. But uh, I, I just want to get another, uh, this is Bill Assard from Net Slaves, and a big what the hell from you. And, and uh, uh, push your website, push whatever you want. Yeah, dude. plug it all, baby. All right, netslaves.com. I suggest you guys check out our newest feature. It's called Shut the Fuck Up. It's a weekly award that we, uh, we give out to industry movers and shakers in badly in need of a clue. And this week's winner is Larry Ellison. And that's called Shut the Fuck Up, and it's at netslaves.com. And uh, Netslaves the book. Please buy it or give me a dollar. <laughs> and uh, a little what the hell, if you please. What the hell? Right on. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, and uh, here's Sean to talk to you. All right, Sean. Thanks, guys. All right. That was an excellent interview from uh, Bill Lassard from that NetSlaves. That was an amazing I per interview. I personally think it was better than the interview with Al. <laughs> he was angry. Yeah, Al was calm. This guy was angry. Al was the guy from. Al was the guy from Americans for Purity. The, the, the now Andy. classic the interview. Now, now, the that masturbator was, that was, that hater. Was funny, funny listening, listening to and, and watching Sean just go off at the phone at, at Al, but I mean, you know, there was this like back and forth between Sean and uh, <laughs> Bill, yeah, and Bill here. Just amazing. So uh, we're gonna go to uh, something that I got off the internet today. Uh, I think it's it was done by four baggies and four trolls in a baggie. You've heard of them. They're a comedy troupe, Canadian comedy troupe. And uh, this is talking about uh, somebody at the Internet Help Desk, uh, the day in the life, how to, how to cope at the Internet Help Desk. I thought it was hilarious. Oh, so God. here it is on uh, Rant Radio. 
The situations and characterizations on this show are fictitious. Any transmission, reproduction, or rebroadcast of this show without express permission is prohibited. Theft of comedy material is a crime, punishable by not less than 15 years in a federal penitentiary. Good night. You must be the new uh, trainee. Yeah, hi.
And that is exactly how it works. I, I have done tech support, that's and pretty, Sean has done tech support. That's pretty brutal, Sim. It, I mean, it that's is really brutal. brutal. Like, I mean, you do ask to, to, to talk to the child of the house. Is there somebody younger there that I can talk to? So there's, there's no, um, no exaggeration there at all? No, that guy, I swear, must have worked tech support at one or point. Or had a good friend who did. Or had a good friend who wrote it all out for him. So we got uh, Drexel was in the IRC. He was going to come by tonight, but he did not come. But that's okay. I'm going to depart. You're going to depart now. Well, I'll talk into the microphone so we don't have dead air. Hi. Hi. I'm leaving. Who are you? Porn on beta. Okay. Farewell, well, you have porn to leave early, unfortunately, so. I was going to say bye, bye to the camera. Bye-bye, porn on beta. Bye-bye, porn, porn on beta. Porn on beta. Bye. Bye-bye. Hugs. Hugs. I miss <laughs> you most me. of all, Scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as you can see, we've got some pretty sad-ass mirrors going on here. Um, so, I'm going to beg for mirrors. So, if anybody out there has a uh, very fast mirror, do not come to me with your cable modem saying, It's really fast. It's not fast. It's fast, but it's not going to hold the listeners. So if you work at an ISP and uh, can get away with it, or have a really, really fast connection at work and can get away with it, please ICQ me, 51558, because uh, we're getting down on mirrors, and it would be great to get some back. We've still got a couple, but please, please contribute to Ramp Radio. We don't make any money at this, and we'd like you to contribute. And Until you contribute, we're going to keep begging for money. No. This sounds like PBS. It is PBS. We don't make any money. Half of our contributions come from corporations like you. We, should, we, should at least <laughs> we had knickknacks. Knickknacks to give away. And that's why we're bringing you the music of that's, Riverdance. That's why we're bringing you now the music of Riverdance and until you contribute. Another, and yet and another. Coming up next week, Joseph the Amazing Technicolor Dream Code. <laughs> Followed you by betcha. the all day, all night, all weekend marathon of yet again Red Dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like Red Dwarf. Hey, as do oh, I, but... Oh, Drexel is back. Okay, he is listening. Drexel. Cool. Come, um, come home, Drexel. All is forgiven. You can come home now. The oh. dog forgave you. Yeller misses you. <laughs> walking funny, but... Okay. So, Sean's out of the room, burning up valuable 1-800 time at 8 cents a minute, blabbing on with Bill Lassard. Um, because we want to discuss the running man thing, but uh, he needs to be here. So, we're going to go on to the next thing. I've got a Canadian joke. Uh-oh. That somebody sent to me. Here nice we ones. go. Here we go. Canadian joke. I'm, li- I'm, li- I'm listening, eh? Eh? Yeah, eh? What's it all about? What's it all about? Well, it's a boot. Uh, I can't remember who sent this to me. I didn't write it down. Sorry. Uh, in a train car, there was a Canadian, an American, and a spectacularly looking beautiful woman. And a frighteningly awful looking ugly lady. After several minutes of the trip, the train happens to pass through a dark tunnel. And the unmistakable sound of a slap is heard. When they leave the tunnel, the American has a big red slap mark on his cheek. One, uh, a few things could have happened. One, oh, they, they did happen, sir. One, the beautiful lady thought, that American son of a bitch wanted to touch me. And by mistake, he must have put his hand on the fat lady, who in turn must have slapped his face. Two, the ugly lady thought, this dirty old American laid his hands on the blonde and she smacked him. The American thought, that fucking Canadian put his hand on the beautiful woman and by mistake she slapped me. The Canadian thought, I hope there's another tunnel soon so I can smack that stupid American again. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty Smackin funny. It's, Yankees. it's not specifically Canadian, but, oh. geez, how, it's pretty hard to make fun of us. We're you, so nice, you right? Pretty much put Into the microphone. On, you can pretty much put any nationality on the planet <laughs> next to the American. Yeah. Some of them, I think, I think the Canadian part of that is they waited till it was dark before it killed off in Maxim. <laughs> I think just about any of the other nationalities in the world would just wait for broad daylight. <laughs> Say, hey, ladies, look. Ching. And chink. Well, you see, if you went with yeah, a we're su- somebody from anywhere in South America, they would have been, you know, no, no waiting for the tunnel, just die gringo. <laughs> there you go. So it just doesn't work. So we got something from Zur Store, which is very, very cool. Zur Store made up the Ramp Radio drinking game. Oh, Because yes. we did mention it during the marathon. Oh. And, of course, anything we mention gets drawn, recorded, or made up somehow typed out. Well, that means they hang on our every word. As as a comment on last weekend's insanity. Oh, yeah, we got to go over that, too. Let's, (laughs) if we ever consider doing that again, let's either not consider ever doing that again. (laughs) Please slap us. Or or get some methamphetamines in here or something. Yeah, we got to get something to keep us going. If we ever do that again, it won't be as long. It would be like four hours, eight hours, maybe. 
Maybe. Uh, actually, we'll do it in shifts. Actually, actually a 12-hour thing going from, say, 11 to 11 on yeah, a Sunday. Something that it'd would be, not take be, up our sleeping time. It would be just like an extended Sunday barbecue. Yeah, that's what it would be like. It wouldn't go into sleeping time. Exactly. So it wouldn't disrupt the but normal cycle. But, but, Sim, you wouldn't get the same quality of programming, oh that God. same the diluted grandeur. At 4.30 in the morning. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Or that slight delusion. You kind of get that funny haze that you had, or that kind of stagger you had that was really – Treasuring, I or, mean, the, like, or the two-minute memory capacity. Yes, that was. Did amazing. we I, say that I, already? And I think the Rant Radio listeners would really appreciate that effort if we did it again. They would. Oh yes, they, and, and they'd make us do anything. In. They'd love that. All, all of you out there in Rant Radio, Shut up. type it in. If, yeah. If you want us to do that again, we'll promptly ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> so ignore th- Sim. Ignore, <laughs> ignore. So this is from Zerstar with some help from Smokehouse. I'll tell you which one Smokehouse contributed. Number one, whenever somebody mentions penny shears or intestines falling out of someone's ass, take a drink. (laughs) Whenever the phone rings and everyone says, oh, it's zombie, take a drink. If it actually turns out to be really Lieutenant Major Zombie, take another drink. (laughs) Whenever someone offers to bear Sean or Sim's child, take a drink. If they offer to bear another of the crew's children, take two drinks. (laughs) (laughs) Do do, do Do they know any of the other crew's names? Oh, I'm sure they do. They've heard it enough. Ronan Medic, uh, Projectile okay. Vomit, Man, Girl, and Left. Oh, they know. Yeah, they like, know all their names. They everybody listen. Everybody knows They hang me. on our every word, okay? I'm some <laughs> biblically. <laughs> yeah, they know in the biblical sense. Uh-uh. Whenever Major. somebody uses the phrase, jerking off in your own feces, take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually that's, used a lot. <laughs> that's just to remove the taste in your mouth. <laughs> uh, well, five, yeah, what, five. Whenever a female listener confesses to being bisexual, take a drink. There we go. Yeah, hands up there. <laughs> if uh, if it's a male listener, take two drinks. I don't think it's ever happened. Oh, and no, I don't think it's ever happened. Six, whenever somebody makes fun of Sim for reading Onion stories on the show, take a drink. <laughs> nah. Well, get on the mic then, Sean. That guy, yeah, fuck that guy is the most fucking switched on guy we've ever interviewed, hands down. Oh, yeah, he's on it. That guy is all over the place. He's a fat kid on a Smarty, you know that? <laughs> oh, sit down for a minute. I'm, I'm cool. i got to take a piss in a minute anyway. What's going on? What's happening? Well, if you got to take a piss, then we can't talk about the uh, running man thing. But we're going through the, the uh, Rant Radio drinking game. Oh, my God. Somebody wrote it up and submitted it. Well, everything we say. Oh, it's of turned happens. into some sort of media. It's, it's fucking gold. <laughs> that, that, that's above and beyond the actual Pentagon files. There's, there's, a, there's actually like everything's normal, filed the, away. The, the, sort of the lay. Yes, they fucking of, great. Yet this they is... couldn't record the first two hours of our marathon last week. Oh, that's all right. If anybody has that recorded, please tell me. Actually, I, Either I, IRC or Sam on, is like, on, on Sam's audio killing tape. himself over here, okay? Yeah. He's like, I had to take the night. I had to take away everything sharp in the house. I had to take spoons away. <laughs> I had to take. A, he, the guy was fucking beside himself. Well, I'm a gargoyle. So what do you I would expect? Actually kill, I would actually kill for the middle two hours. Oh, we got just, everything. Just like one big forty-five minute long giggle. No, we only so, we only missed the, the first place, just two. Dead air for two hours. <laughs> yeah, and of course the whole section where I fucking bailed like a big pussy and, and went home and slept. Yeah, that was a good yeah. uh, good area there. It was really funny there. Everyone said it really picked up in that. Yeah, because you know maybe I should just not bother coming anymore. You know? <laughs> uh, how about it's everyone? What does everyone think about that? Yeah, well, Sean uh, fucking Sean off. Sean just and, not uh, doing it. Fuck you. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Anyhow. Anyway, I gotta go take a piss and then we'll talk about this fucking running okay. man deal. Okay. Number seven. Whenever Sean. Or Sim, bring up their huge ego, take a drink. <laughs> Whoa, would you be drunk? Okay, eight. Whenever Sean K confesses to having a raging hard on for someone, take a drink. He didn't actually say that for Bill Assard, but it was implied. Did you have a raging hard on for him? I have a raging hard on for Bill Assard. <laughs> someone take a drink. <laughs> it I could be Dr. Right. Pepper. Whenever Dak insults a minority, take a drink. <laughs> Whenever he calls their language monkey talk, take two. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Woo. oh my god <laughs> Number 10 Whenever somebody says Fuck ass Take a drink <laughs> Fuck ass Number 11 Whenever Sean says Twat or cunt or fuck nut Take a drink <laughs> Number 12 Whenever Dak makes a pedophile joke Take a drink Oh I have a pedophile joke Okay um, Lay it on us um, what, what, what's, You're too quiet Oh, What's the most difficult part The most actual Time consuming part Of being a pedophile Washing the blood out of your clothes? Uh, it was actually a clown suit. The clown suit, blood yes. Blood out of a clown yeah, that, suit. Adds, adds an, an extra shutter factor. Yep, okay. that's old but goody. Uh, what was somebody I heard? 
Uh, best thing of uh, carnal knowledge with a two-year-old is hearing the pelvis crack. Ah, uh, yes, that's oh. a good one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop nice now. Comment. I'm going to stop now because <laughs> state, state police in five countries. Sta <laughs> state, state police in, in, in five different states are, are heading are, over here now. Are for dri oof. driving to me. Yes. <laughs> the next one. Number 13. Whenever sa Sean says, well, that's all well and good. Take a drink. I don't say that that often. Never. You never yeah, say but that. But that's all well and good. Well, that's Sean. all well and good, that's Sean. Well and but good. you don't say that very much. Well, it's my nice way of saying shut the fuck up. Yes, it is. Yeah, ba that's basically. like shut the hell up. I'm gonna say something now. Yeah. Basically. Basically. Whenever. Jesus Christ! I'm some sick of that fucking word. <laughs> it's coming up. Every time you he can, says wait, that. Wait. Every time it's like somebody hits me in a fucking face. You know that? <laughs> After that marathon, and he was going basically, basically, fucking basically, basically, basically. It's ringing in my head, going ah oh, fuck no ass ah ah ah. Basically, ah! basically, fuck! Basically, I was just, I was going fucking insane. And even when he's telling the stories now, basically, basically, and basically, basically, it's fucking, it's, I, I'm gonna, basically. I'm gonna kill him. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> always there. He's, he can't open his fucking mouth without the word basically. Sean wakes but, up and goes, Sean, basically. 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 You'll also notice that in Bill's interview, he also said basically quite a few it times. Is three a, times. He said a, it three times. It is a very common word. It's a common People phrase, use it all the but time. Because and used in moderation, it's. <laughs> Fine, it's okay, but, but you don't speak like a marine, sir. Whatever, blah blah blah. The beginning and ending of the sentence is, you know, <laughs> fucking basically. Basically, I think I went down to the store. Basically, <laughs> basically, I bought a coke. Basically, that's not beginning, how the quote, fucking end quote. End yep, quote it's, it's got to be there. It's like slash basically. basically. Yeah. Just slash basically. For all okay. your HTML coders you know, out there. I'm seriously, just slash the basically. Okay, slash basically. That's it. No more. <laughs> Next. Oh, I, I, Whenever somebody says A, take a drink. Whenever Sumerian says it, take two drinks because his accent is so strong. He sounds like a McKenzie brother when he says it. A. 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 Yo, A. What a. are they talking about? A. We have accents? We have we, accents? No, we just, we no, you, can, you Americans correctly. have the accents. <laughs> there you go. We just accents. pronounce everything very... Actually, actually, being Western Canadians, I think we're the only true accent-less people on the planet. We are sans accent. We pronounce everything quite well, correctly. That's our, that's our particular brand of monkey talk. Yes. This is our, it's the BC wow. monkey talk. It's, it's BC, BC monkey, monkey talk. talk. Whenever that's Sim's awesome. voice cracks, take a drink. Uh, uh, well, it's time for a change, and it's time for a change. <laughs> Anybody who got that, okay, you're really sad if anyone got that reference. I think Projectile Vomit Man got that reference. I hate you. What was it? It's a Brady Bunch reference. Brady. It's wow. It's a Brady Bunch reference. <laughs> yeah. Wow. When, whenever the lieutenant damaged me. <laughs> whenever Lieutenant Major Zombie tries to ask out a female listener, take a drink. When they're oh. when they're actually male, take two. two. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we found our first buy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have We have another. Buy. And when Lieutenant Major Zombie doesn't mind, take five. I made that. <laughs> no. Uh, Nineteen. Whenever somebody comments about Sim's awesome vegan ass, take a drink. You have a nice ass. Do I? Sean, you have tell nice, me about my nice ass. Tell me more about my ass. You know, 20. Whenever a drunk chick calls in, take a drink. No, you should take like 30 drinks. We don't get that many fucking <laughs> Only during the chicks. marathon. But, they but had enough did, time. We did discover during the marathon that that was what basically... Th ah! Ah! I'll kill you! Remember on Pee Wee's Speci Playhouse? That was that's going to happen from now on. Every time he says basically, ah! that's the magic word. Ah! The whole room screams. Okay, that will stop. Ah, that will stop the. Ass. That will stop the B word very quickly. We are going to do that. Don't tell. Don't we, tell we Dak next show. Okay. During the marathon. Don't even explain it. Don't explain it. We'll do it next show. That that His our, head will explode. That our that the core audience that we were aiming for is drunk chicks. Yes, it was, and we were succeeding quite well in drunk, the drunk chick category. We wanted actually drunk slutty chicks. Drunk slutty chicks who live in BC yeah. that have a car. Local or drunk we'll slutty chicks. We'll, we'll, we'll settle <laughs> or for would the. Or we be willing to travel. We will yes, settle though, be... however, for the for the drunk because the slutty part we can work on by plying them with liquor. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We can find liquor or Dr. Pepper. 200% sexy projectile, projectile rape date man. <laughs> <laughs> they had a comic about him in, in Japan. They know? do. Yeah, though. rape man. <laughs> rape man. Whenever right. the subject of Gloom Bunny's tits pops up, <laughs> take or, a drink. Or flops out. Or flops out or lands on someone's head, <laughs> take a drink. Uh, 22, whenever somebody brings up Al from Americans for Purity, Al. take a drink. Hey, Al. Hey, Al. Whenever you can be my bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me Al. Al. Call me Al. <laughs> <laughs> I got to find that song for next week. Okay. Excellent. Whenever Dak calls for someone's death, 
Take a drink. You'll be drunk a lot. You'll be drunk. <laughs> Whenever Sean men- men- mentions prison drugs, take a drink. <laughs> Whenever you hear. Oh, wait. Here it comes. Oh, I'm too slow. Oh, here it is. Whenever somebody mentions the mighty shovel pang, take a drink. <laughs> and it just happened for all the people what in just, the studio. What, what just happened? Uh, the volume was down. The mighty shovel pang. Um. <laughs> When, when the, whenever the What the Hell show officially endorses Dr. Pepper, take a drink. Of course. And that happens Dr. all the time. Have Dr. Pepper, of course. Uh, whenever you hear the Gary Coleman promo, take a drink. Take three drinks. <laughs> we, don't, we don't play it that often. <laughs> whenever somebody brings up, the, and number 28, the last one, whenever somebody brings up that damned I'm in jail dad song, <laughs> That's a take great a drink. Song. That, that is, is a great song. We should song. play that song. We should play it right <laughs> we should, now. We should cue that. Everyone break out your shot glasses. Because, because hey, dad, I'm, I'm in jail. jail. I'm Bye. in jail, For jerking dad. off. For jerking off. For jerking off. off. I'm, in I'm in jail. Al, put I'm, me here. I'm jerking I'm, off because I saw the dot coms all go tits up. Ah, <laughs> I'm in jail. And Bill's and Lazard's helping me. Ah, <laughs> in jail. Here's was not was. Hey, we're back. I hope you all like this. Yes, they played that on Pump Up the Volume. My, that's, that's my big reference for it. Yeah, that's why we play it. And they played Leonard Cohen, Everybody Knows, in which I'd... Um, one of my favorite freaking songs. One of my favorite songs as well. Oh, my God. Everybody Knows. Um, everybody Knows. So, so speaking about Everybody Knows. <laughs> so uh, there's this group in Germany who decided to put on their version of The Running Man. Yep, if anybody's seen the, the movie, it's uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it's Richard it, Dawson. And Richard Dawson, which you got to rent it just for Richard Dawson. I mean, it's an okay movie, not a big deal. It's great, love. How are you doing today? I've read Where's the book. Where's that Hogan's Heroes? Yep. And the Family Feud. He's and awesome. Family Feud. The book is way better. It's only a short story, so go read the book. It's by Stephen King. In any case, I'm not a big Stephen King fan, but anyway. No, it's a short story. It's good. In any case, that's all well and good. And there's no mystical things that happen in it, which I like. Whatever. The devil. Yeah, Here the comes devil. the devil again. That's a big horror story cop-out, and all this happened because of the devil. The devil. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the devil, you say. Next, next, so, next, so next, in any next. case, this, that's all uh, well and good. That's all well and good. Shut the fuck up. I'm speaking now. <laughs> so... They're doing this for real. The concept is is that they're going to go, they're going to put uh, all these people, they're going to pick somebody, the internet is going to vote for someone. We're eating pretzels. Yeah, we're, we're saying, uh, what the fuck are you eating? Yeah, we're, we're eating pretzels, <laughs> pretzels. and I'm, I'm going to stop now. We broke out mm, the pretzels. Salt. And Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper, the official sponsor of Rent Radio, unofficial sponsor. <laughs> now, our goal, our, our goal is to be so offensive that Dr. Pepper will play us, pay us money to stop talking about them. Back to Reality Runner. Back once again. Back once again. Okay, so what's happening is, is Reality Runner is going to put some guy who is voted on the internet to be the Reality Runner. They're going to drop him in Berlin with 5,000 Deutschmarks, equal to about five grand. 
or like two grand American or whatever the fuck it is. Or anyway, a dollar Canadian. Or a dollar Canadian. Stretch it hard. Five grand, and then you have to survive for 24 days without being detected. If you're detected and someone walks up to you and says, hey, aren't you, in my case, Sean Kennedy, the fucking man, is and followed... Herb thing? Remember when they had to find Herb? Herb? I don't know, but... Or you need a microphone. Yeah, you need a mic. No one's hearing you. Wasn't that about, like, Steve with the fruit with two O's? Or yeah, Herb, yeah. that Whopper guy? The, the, Didn't the, they have to the find Herb? Yeah, had to find that guy. But Wendy's the thing is, is that King? if people find this person and walk up and say that to they him... They get to beat the fuck out of him with a yeah. shovel. No, no. <laughs> well, no. you could. No, but they get $10,000 American if they catch you. It's a big manhunt. It's a huge fucking manhunt. The hunt. whole world, in fact. Now, there are people... Uh, well, once it's posted over the first 10 days, they let out more you, tips. Until the fir- at first, you know, of them you know nothing about them. Well, then, maybe one thing, because they got to give you something. And then for the next 20, after 10 days, for the next, uh, they, they release more and more. And then eventually, after the 10th day, they you have, like, mass data about you, and everybody knows who you are, and everybody's looking for you. And if you get busted, whoever catches you, or whoever tips the reality runner, Hunter, the reality hunter, whoever tips him to tell where you are, whoever, they get 10 grand. Yep. However, there's one guy dedicated to hunting. Yes, I think I feel a field trip coming on. <laughs> However, there is, uh, th- there is the fact that uh, if you can survive for 24 days and accomplish the little daily tasks that they give you, because yep. it'd be easy. I could just crawl inside a sewer hole and say, and "Fuck there. you! I got my 30 power bars and my bottle <laughs> of water. You can all suck ass." <laughs> okay. It'd be easy to do that, but unfortunately, you have to go and actually commit these tasks on a day-to-day basis. Somewhat hard tasks. Somewhat that hard tasks. The public. Uh, uh, that involve the public and still be avoided. This if you is can, not the worst part. If you can, This is not the worst part? Everything that comes out of your mouth or in the vicinity of you is recorded and played on the internet. Live. They can hear you at all times. Everything you say is heard and broadcasted over the web. I'd like a Big Mac. Well, he's in McDonald's. How many McDonald's are there? Everyone go to McDonald's. Right? Exactly. So, uh, I, of course, if I was to go, I submitted my name. And 16 hours later, I had 350,000 votes. And Sean was top. And he and was in Sean the lead. And Sean was on top, and Sean was going to Berlin. Mm-hmm. But, you see, uh, when I filled out my questionnaire, when they asked me the questions, I gave them more than just one line back. I Sean, actually, the writer, goes nuts. I, I told them, they said, what's the biggest adventure you've ever been on? So I told them about when I flew to Europe and tried to join the French Foreign Legion and got deported from England twice and wind up having to wander around Europe with a backpack and shoot bearings and make my way to an airport in eight hours that I'd never been to before. In 2,000 words or less. In, in like, you know, <laughs> two paragraphs. And I chopped that down pretty good. But... You know, they wanted, like, one line. <laughs> so they said, Oh, you didn't fill out the questionnaire properly. And so they kicked off my ass. Off to the oven for you. Off, off, how old are you, mother? Boot. Off I go. Even though I had 300,000 votes. Along with a lot of other people got booted off. Who also got booted. Because so, their questionnaire was all fucked up. So that's okay. That's okay. It's all good. That's all good. Because so. right now, there are people looking on the internet, because I've said it, on that site, www.realityrunner.com, under the casting voting, somewhere on that site, they, they have a place where you can vote. We submitted it at s- about 7 o'clock our time, so we submitted it. Three, four hours ago. Three, almost almost four hours ago, so it's probably up there now. We have a photo with it. We have everything just fucking perfect. So, Sam and I went over it. So what I, what I did to find this out, why he was pulled, is like, well, he's gone. So Why I, is he gone? What the fuck is going on? So I uh, sent an email to the people at Reality Runner because, well, that's just not good. No. You can't I fuck said, with us. You, you recently pulled a number of people out of the lineup for being Reality Runners. These people had very high scores due to their popularity. Could you please send me the full legal rules for selecting the actual Reality Runner? Because if you're going to pull people out of the competition for being too popular, then I would suggest you rethink the way you're conducting the voting. Again, please point me to the portion of your site where it explains in full, in legalese, how the reality runner will be selected. Because, well, Sean's going to win the legal way or the non-legal way. So, we got enough people to do it, okay? I mean, you want to... It's not like... And the reason is, I don't give a shit about winning... If you win, you get 100000 bucks, which means that Cult gets $100,000, which means Rant Radio gets $100,000. And um, wow... And we will wow, use that. We wow wow. Will we ever have a fucking field trip? Okay? We'll broadcast from your house. All right. <laughs> the point is, is that if we can actually pull this shit off, it 
that people are beginning to realize cult is not that big right now. We've only got 80 members, and I haven't even processed the email I got sitting in my box. I got people waiting to join right now. But do you realize? Think about this for a moment. We, cult, decided no. No, we of cult think Sean is going to be the runner. And I was. Hmm. Just like that. 16 hours later, I have beaten the lead guy, oh, about sevenfold. Because <laughs> the next guy below me only had 64,000 votes. And Sean had 350,000. And I had 350,000 votes inside of six hours. And they want to fuck with us? <laughs> they want to fuck with us? 2,600 had the right idea. But 2,600 did not have the balls to stand up and go, no, 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 no. Because, I mean, and I understand where they're going with this. Because they're in the United States. And the uh, ATF could kick in their door, dream up a whole load of charges, and put everyone in fucking jail. But they can't do that to us because of we're Canadian, one. Two, our Canadian laws do not endorse that, and we're not doing anything wrong. What I want to see happen is I want to see cult in every major city. I want to see club, private clubs operating as bars that cult members can go to, show their ID card. If you show the ID card, you go downstairs. If you're a normal sheeple, <laughs> you go fucking upstairs. The people who go downstairs, they've got a full facility down there. They have, quote unquote, weight training. So they have showers. They have a coffin hotel. Fuck, you can stay in there for days. Cheap food, the whole nine yards. It doesn't matter if you're wanted because we don't monitor who's in and out. If you have your ID code and you're a cult member, you're in. Mm -hmm. That kind of a level where it's a real community and the subculture gets very very strong this is a union of the common man this is the union of the subculture and this is the kind of shit that they have been scared of since day fucking one. Oh my god the geeks got organized we're <laughs> fucked now yep and there's enough one, of us if one person one person learns the truth if one person one fucking janitor one rat in the wall over here is something that you're gonna do to fuck over general public on the ceos it hits cult and we broadband that shit, and it'll be amazing. This is the dream of Rant Radio and Cult, and it's, it's happening so fast because so many young people are so pissed off with the bullshit. We all know it's bullshit. We all know it's there. You know, you know for a fact that a digital mafia eventually is going to happen, okay? But the underworld is all about prostitution and drugs and about, you know, victimization of people. What if we made the digital underworld... Make it more white hat than black hat. You're going to have to have enough black hats in there anyway in order to get shit done. But quite frankly, you know, I'm sick of being fucked over. And now people, the counterculture, the people who have been fucked over since day one, finally are starting to get a foothold. And they better hope to fuck that they shut us down before we get a solid grip because we'll take it to the wall. Caponex says, hmm, this brings an entire new meaning to free Sean Kennedy. So... Um, <laughs> So they, they responded back, says, Hi, we pulled we just pulled out the people who did not give us a nickname or missed to fill out the complete casting form, but we saved all the votes so that everyone will be placed on the net again as soon as they give us a complete application. Says, thanks. Reality running headquarters. So all the votes will be saved, hopefully, if they match up the new one with the old one. Sean typed in all the same email address and all that, so it should be the same. If it's not, guess who's getting a letter? You know, and it doesn't matter. So what? Go ahead, take it off. Fuck you. You think Build that's it right back stop up us? in a day? Go right, go right. Sixteen hours, asshole. There's <laughs> twenty-two days until it goes up. Twenty-two fucking days. Now, this time we're gonna do it right. Within the next day, I'm gonna wind up blanketing down, and we'll get all the new messages on uh, on cult. I'll have a whole bunch of new shit because, well, the world marches on, and I'll be able to document it. Mm -hmm. In the forum, as I give Reality Runner updates, do not post anything about how we're manipulating counters <laughs> because if Reality Runner goes to our site and sees that, they could pull some bullshit claws. Would that have been the one that was deleted? That was the stories <laughs> that were deleted just in case they hit our site. However, you know, we would never dream of doing anything that would could be manipulative. But you know? as far as I see, they... Uh... There's no rules about it. And there is no rules about it, but more than that, it would be very easy if one person in one place was manipulating the counters. Yeah. We got Echo in Alaska. We got Rooster, wherever the fuck he is. I can't even remember where the guy is. All we got over people the place. in Florida. We have people on the north, uh, on the on the east and west coast, yeah. and everybody's firing so at So they're looking thing. at this, looking at the IP addresses, going, well, this isn't one guy. This isn't one guy. This is all over the United States and all over Canada. So somebody let, really let's likes see if them. I remember how the uh, po sh Chicago political oh, put, I remember machine this. put it. Vote early, vote, vote often. often. Yeah. Yep. 
And so, they said every vote counts on their website. Well, we made every vote count. So every fucking vote counts. Now, whether or not they honor it, I personally think this whole thing's a massive publicity stunt. Me too. And where it's pretty brilliant, actually. They'll sit there and say, oh, you could be the reality runner. Therefore, you put your name in and you, you tell live, all your friends, I'm in the friends, running. Vote for me. Vote for me. Right? This will be a great way to do this. Oh, someone's calling. Somebody wants to talk to us. Hi, you're live on What the Hell? Who's this? Prophet Nixter. Hey, Nixter. What's up? Just wanted to let everybody know that if, if they want to know where to get these, these scripts, since no one knows about the, the uh, Prophet site, I can post it on the Prophet site, all the updates for where the scripts are located and stuff like that, because nowhere on the cult site is the Prophet site mentioned. Or you oh. can close down. That's a, that's a very good point. And as a matter of fact, we can use ICQ to farm back and forth. And uh, that's the reason why ICQ is there, is for just such an emergency. That's a very good point, Nixter. And you can get to the Nixter site by profits, profit.thecult.org is uh, his location. That's a very good point, man. Very good point. Just wanted to let you know that. And it's also sounding like uh, that movie, uh, that recent one. I, fuck, I forgot the name. The what, what? one, uh, I always do this. I always, I always bring up a movie, and then I can't remember the damn name. What happened in it? It's Fight Club. Fight Club. Oh, Fight, Fight Club. Club. Tyler Durden, yeah. It flipped my mind for a second right when I went to mention it. <laughs> so what's like Fight Club? Cult? It, it's like Fight Club, the, the whole the whole concept of the uh, Fight Clubs and stuff. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. Never, I never really made that parallel before, but <laughs> I, I'm glad you... you I'm glad I you never thought it, of that either, actually. The, the, the Fight Club. No, we're, we're totally fucking with you. But <laughs> what actually I'd rather make it like is, uh, although the movie was shit, I loved it. I admit it. But uh, the Johnny Mnemonic nightclub that was in there where you got, like, the sushi bar and you got live bands performing, small-name bands who haven't made their name yet, yeah. we, could ha we could have an entire underground circuit set up, and all it would take is to have good, solid people, you know, running this. And if we start having cult-owned businesses that are truly community-owned, we could have the underground community and the underground art community working for the underground art community, and then we'd have a whole new subculture. We'll fuck these guys with their own money. That's fine, and we're not doing anything illegal. You know, we're not going to be selling drugs. Fuck drugs. We're going to sell freedom. Yep. And it'll be going cheap, and everybody's going to buy it. Yep. I'll tell you that much. That's going to go fast. Well, no well, doubt. Thanks for calling in and plugging the profit site, because it needs to be done. It needs to be done. Say what the hell, brother. Uh, just one last thing. Oh. If anyone wants to do, has any script, just send it to my ICQ, which, which is posted under Nixter, if you look on the culture page. Uh, what the hell? What the hell, brother. All right. So this is what's going on. So um, we need people, we need the gargoyles to keep a close eye on that Reality Runner site to let it, let me know so I can repost the URL. Yeah, because they, it, it's all out of order. Like, you just it's have to search through every page up like February. to find who is, it's, it's a crazy site. It wasn't very well constructed. Yeah, it's soup sandwich everywhere. <laughs> Hi, you're on Rant Radio. Who's this? Why, it's your old Uncle Dak. Hey, Uncle Dak. What's up, buddy? Need more airtime? Uh, no, just really sorry about basically squishing your chair like that. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, it was uh, it was almost dead. I put my foot on it to tie my boot up, and the whole thing just fucking collapsed, and I was like... Now you're destroying uh, Sims I'm furniture. <laughs> I'm a little big lummox. He <laughs> brings in the chair. It's all fucked up. It's a, bit, a bunch of uh, bunch of pieces of metal. I'm like, what's that? <laughs> oh, I'm it, really sorry, it, man. It's, it's a straight back chair that, that, that is not supposed to fold, but now it looks like a folding, folding chair. chair. It's a folding chair now. <laughs> it's Uncle Duck laying the really smack down. Sorry, That's okay. We'll, we'll give it to Quoth, and she'll make something artistic out of it. I think it already is artistic. <laughs> it's, it's called Squish Chair. Yeah, Squish Chair. <laughs> okay. So, is there anything else you want to say? No, just basically the... Ah! Right. That's about it. Okay. All right, so uh, everybody, have a good night, and you, take care. And? Oh, what the hell? All right. Oh, we said we started next week, but he's oh, here, well. so. I heard the one, basically, and then I went, oh, I should start screaming. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. oh, just for you, then. <laughs> ah! ah! I fucking hate that. And everybody else hates it, too. <laughs> yes. They all know. Huh, who, uh, I'm not saying anything fucking wrong here, guys. Tell me I'm wrong. Don't say, well, you, don't say you hate it. Tell us who likes it. Especially because especially <laughs> it's catching. Yes, it it's is. Infectious. You, it's, you, it's you listen like a to it enough. It is. It is. It's, it's a bad. verbal disease. Somebody else calling in. It's a call-in section of the evening. Sure. Call now. Call often. Hi, Aaron. What the hell? Who's this? Hey, it's Prophet Solon Zero. Hey, how's it going? I can't pronounce your name. What is it? Prophet Soylent Zero. Soylent, Soylent Zero. Zero. Good to hear from you, man. First time you've called in. That's awesome. Actually, How you been? I called in during the marathon, but um, yeah, you know about that Running Man stuff? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been watching that closely. Before they ganked him off the list, they cut him down to 50, like 50,000. Uh, Sean, they did? Yeah. 
Oh. They want not to fuck with us on that <laughs> because, but well. I, I don't know if you guys caught that or not. Did, no. I, did they give you any reasons as for that? No, I didn't notice that. Nobody alerted me to that, actually. Actually, it's on the call forum. Uh, I think Rooster posted it. I'm not exactly sure. Really? Yeah, wow. Yeah, that was after they took him off the first time, and then Rooster found him again, and all of a sudden it's like, uh-oh, he's down to 50,000 from like 300. Wow, okay. But um, are you saying I was taken off, and then I was put back on, and I'm at 50,000? Yeah, you were, okay, like, um, not, n this, this, you got taken off twice. You got taken off the first time. And then you reappeared magically on, like, the 900 position page, and you had, like, only 50,000 or somewhere in that area. Wow, okay. Well, when did, that's when did it reappear? Then we got then we got you up to, like, 80,000. Then they took you off again, and we're right here right now. Okay. What, when did you? Uh, when did it reappear with the 50? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Most likely Rooster posted, uh, like, a time and a day. Did when? it happen today or yesterday? Uh, this happened uh, earlier today, I'm thinking, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't, like, since 6 o'clock this evening? Uh, no, this was earlier in the morning. Okay. Yeah, there's a rooster post an update about that on the page. Okay, well, if uh, if it goes back up and it's only 50,000, they're going to get a letter immediately. Yeah, fucking save your votes. That's bullshit. Because they sent a letter to me saying that the, the votes will still be there. Silly Germans in the monkey talk. <laughs> 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 fucking krauts. Okay, hey, you know what? I'd just like to, to comment, man. That's pretty fucking wicked. That you're sitting there and you're that wired in. You're a decker, if I remember correctly, correct? A uh, prophet, actually. You're a prophet? Wow. Wow. As a prophet, to be that fucking hooked in, to be able to go at that time, holy shit, man. Like, you're the fucking man. That's right on. That's that's some good shit, I gotta tell you. Because, like, you know, what kind of diligence does that say about cult? Yeah. That cult can sit there and say, at this time, at these minutes, in your fucking time zone, this occurred. Well, it's by sheer attrition we got the... Everyone on it, right? Yep. And it's like, boom, the cult's on it. The only thing cult Say is the lacking... The only, updates every two minutes. <laughs> That's right. I, I got to tell you, man, I got to tell you, the only thing you're lacking is weakness. That's the only thing you're lacking. <laughs> say, say what the hell. What the hell, man? All right. Okay, that is amazing. What's Incredible. Unbelievable. It's <laughs> unbelievable, the strength that comes from that. And we've only got 80 members, and there's yeah. more coming. I'll All have the 10 time. more applications. Well, tell them, tell them what to, to write in on, because there's some people, very some few, people, but... People, you want to get on this fucking wave? You want to get in on this wave? On if this you're on the same wavelength as we are. If you're on the same wavelength, you're like, holy fuck, these guys are going to own it, man. It's join at thecult.org. You'll get a big fat form that'll get sent to you. We'll be talking a lot more about uh, what I believe in, what we're talking about, you know, your stance in society and where society's going. And as this goes, man, I mean, this is going to explode. We just got buttons made up. We should uh, talk a little bit about that. We're yeah, gonna... I'm going to put that on. Uh, there'll be it'll be on the page somewhere. But um, a shot? yeah, yeah we'll, we... uh, if you're on the webcam, we're going to do a button shot right now. Who's ever on the webcam? Uh, actually, show it. Like, bring it right up. To Hi, the you're so on. What the hell is this? Lieutenant Major Zombie. Hey, Zombie. How's hey, it going? Zombie. Pretty great. Just watching the postal man. Watching the postal man. Post. Oh, the postman. Postman. Yeah. Oh, it's on TBS. Yeah, TBS, Superstation, you know. So what's going on, man? What's happening? Oh, nothing much, Sean. I, I really want you to see the, be like the running man. That'd be cool tech. Yes, it would be very cool. And just imagine Sean broadcasting 24 hours a day to the whole world. That'd be cool. More, more than this, because, well, we'd have like the... supporting you the whole way through, man. Oh, Absolutely. We're going to keep the lines open, man, because it's going to be phoning in, but uh, that's right on, and there's been a whole lot of people welcoming you to cult, and uh, I think that's very cool, the fact that you've joined. I like, is... helping you out, too. I saw that little preview thing you put up. I was, like, like voting for you, like, the whole night long, man. Yeah, I know you were. I, I could see that. You were online. You were telling me about that. Yeah, I was like, ah, I need to do more. <laughs> <laughs> and I got tired. I was like, oh, dude, get in sleepy. <laughs> every, every hit counts. Every I hit mean... counts, man. All right, buddy, say what the hell. All right, man, what the hell. All right. Yeah, imagine that Sean broadcasting 24 hours a day to the world, now it's important. backed up by a, a major uh, television station. All over Europe. All this Sean, over Europe. all the time. <laughs> all Sean, all the time. Not only that, but this would be cults influence in Europe. Mm. Do you know what the underground scene is like in Europe? It's pretty it's nuts from my understanding. It's fucking huge. And not well, only that. And, and, and whatever fucked up you want to say about, you know, Germans or whatever, and and, and what they look, what, they, look oh, what we got. What they did with this website, you know, booting people off and shit. We got something here. I mean, they're they're the only government in the world that I know of that was smart enough to say Scientology is a fucking cult and give and, <laughs> and not ban give, it. Yeah. Fuck. Hi, you're on. Uh, what the hell? Who's this? That's Prophet No Deal. Hey, Prophet No, no deal. deal. But before we get to this, Sean is back on. 
back on the internet. He has got zero votes. That's but okay. It is the new. Uh, they may not have recognized the two different names and stuff, uh, but we'll uh, we'll alert them to that. If anybody can find a second Sean K there, um, but they probably won't. Okay. Hey, anyway. we should get both of those guys way up there. So <laughs> either way, if they take one off, we're so good with the other. Yeah, both Sean K's going. They can't. They can't. We'll send two of them. We'll clone them. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So what's up? Basically, I just wanted to call and say good night because I fucking stayed up till. 2.40 in the morning, I was up in four hours to go to work. Wow. I had to hear this whole spiel about the running man. Good luck, Sean. Hopefully, we'll get you over to Europe and kick some fucking ass. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> you the man. Thanks, buddy. Say what the hell. What the hell? Right All on. Right. Yeah, uh, now, sorry is, for keeping this so long for this news. This is, uh, <laughs> this is something we do have to make sure that everybody understands. I'm not going over there. Okay, the, the reason why this is such a big deal is because this is a huge fucking promo for Rant Radio and Cult. We're fucking them with their own media. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we're doing this. Yep. I hope some fucking little babushka bitch over there catches my ass and she gets the 10 grand because she fucking needs it. Yep. I'd rather see that happen than see some fucking, you know, yuppie cocksucker who sits there, Mr. SG9 guy. Have you read the write-up on this Hunter guy? I'm going to spray paint his fucking car. When I'm there, I'm going to write, fuck you, Love Rant Radio, on this guy's car. <laughs> the fucking guy, what? I was on SG9. I'm trained as a sniper. How the fuck is that going to help you? Are you shooting at me? No. What do you... I was a sniper. Big fucking deal, asshole. Little darts in Sean's ass oh, slowing him down. yeah, Ugh. fucking go right ahead. Go right the fuck ahead. Mm. And I was I was trained in recovering prisoners in times of war. <laughs> Were you now? Right. Actually, I'm really familiar with the German training military program because I worked with them. There is no re prisoner recovery program. There isn't one. How the fuck do you train soldiers to recover your own prisoners? <laughs> like there's Sartek shit to handle like extraction and stuff, but you don't go in and fucking hunt your own people. You don't hunt prisoners. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? It's just stupid. But anyway, you know, that's all just more media bullshit. But the fact is, is if we can get over there, if we can get enough votes happening, fuck, man. We could just be broadcasting all the time. You know I'm going to be doing a running commentary on society while I'm there. You know I'm going to be like, oh, yeah. yeah, look at this McDonald's. <laughs> Lots of these good McDonald's people here. This of course, water McDonald's like nowhere shit. near them right now. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, and I could be having a great fucking time with it. I going, mean, going into a rave. Go party. to a rave. Nobody it's can like, hear we, shit at a rave. We can't hear. His, his audio's distorted. His I don't know what's distorted. going on. I could be standing up fucking taking my clothes off. It wouldn't mean a fucking difference to me. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know what kind of audio they're using. Oh, someone's chasing me. I'll jump in a water sploosh. Sorry, the mic went out. <laughs> you know? Gotta do it. This probably rolls against it, but... Hi, you're on What the Hell, Who's This? Hey, it's Private Spidey all over the house, yo. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is what I was thinking, eh? If Sean gets picked for this... Well, no, no, sorry. When Sean gets picked for, uh, you know, the running man. <laughs> That's right, yeah, when? I'm thinking we should get, like, a squad of Ronin. <laughs> just, you know, just to, you know, like, up in the buildings and shit. <laughs> Protecting him. You know, the, the reality hunter. Woo! <laughs> like, what the hell is that, right? <laughs> That's we'll, like reality hunter. We'll oh fucking, God. we'll skin that guy. We'll make reality a belt out of him. <laughs> and also, we have the gargoyles all over it giving him miss. Oh, yeah, man. Miss? We got everyone watching. We should just ship every freaking cult member there. Cause, we'll, cause, we'll hunt the hunters, you know what I mean? Because you know, the actually, reality hunter like, is... It, gave him to, like, you know, just, just oh, yeah. The one thing is, though, and this is an interesting point, is that, guess what? The reality hunter gets his tips on how to hunt me from a website. Uh, yeah, from a website. Oh, oh we... my God. <laughs> oh, no, Muffin. You know, Sean I don't... Case in the woods. I can hear him. He's yeah, by, I can he's, hear him. He's up that tree. He's yeah. by that McDonald's. He's he, <laughs> he's on the corner of Fourth and Main. Uh, and I, all these guys with profit on their name and gargoyle on their name are showing up. They're like, hmm, this is rather odd. The, you know, they're Germans. They'll never catch up. Even if they <laughs> even if they ban me, even if they ban me, it would bring public access to that. Some they got some weird digital cult. Oh yeah. And then that'll be <laughs> boom. It'll be all over the news. And then the CIA will be like, oh my god. See if Sean wins this, it'll be good. If Sean loses this, it'll be it'll good. It'll be good. Because it'll be on all these news sites. I will put oh, it. Put, yeah. I'll put it everywhere. Wow, legitimate uh, contest there, guys. Yeah, Sean bought, won by uh, 1.5 million votes, and mm. he didn't make it. Oh. <laughs> I think I think we should get him in uh, Big Brother and have him, you know, plug Rant Radio every oh, two there seconds. You go. That's what I'm thinking. Just but get him in one. Mics, you know, uh, Rant Radio. So how is your day, uh, Rant Radio? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Auto work, uh, Rant Radio. <laughs> like what the hell? And yeah. then, you know, it'd be oh, I mean, the amount of fun we could have with this because in reality, what we're doing here is we're just fucking with people. Hey, and you just... know what'd be cool? Is it... I heard. I'm not 
not sure about this, but I heard that the audience gets to vote um, whoever gets kicked out of Big Brother. Is that true? Yes, that yes, is true. Is. How yeah. do they do this voting? <laughs> what, oh, what ha- oh, I can answer that one. What, hap- <laughs> what happens is is By the group... Small counter manipulation. Oh, there you go. They get Sean in there and just, you know, boot everyone off there. They're like, holy shit, this guy got 500,000 votes. <laughs> the hell he's out of there? You know, until Sean gets on there, he's only got like 100. Well, if Sean's doing like monologues up to the camera all day, every day, who's going to be voted out, right? Not Sean. They're going to be like glued to the TV uh, listening to Sean go off. Right? That's a really good point. So what were you going to say there, Medic? Oh, it's moot point now. Okay. It's, it's all over the place. All right, buddy, say what the hell. Back up. What's that? Is he back up? Yeah, I'm back on the page. We're yeah, gonna... there? Yeah. yeah All right, gonna... let's get those counters working. All right. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Okay. See, what, what the hell? What the hell? Bro? All right. You can phone in one eight seven 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 two nine seven two six eight. Two, two things. I, you I got like, seven I minutes. I like the idea of Ronan's running interference for Sean. Oh, I'm oh all yeah, over yeah. That. You know that. I mean, <laughs> that, that, that is that is hunting stri- the hunter. Strict, strictly porn. Oh yeah. But, but the other the other thing too is you know how many hours of uh, shit could you record beforehand? That's like misinformation about which direction mm. you're, you're going in. And oh yeah, me and my digital recorder down by the schoolyard. Going st- exactly. st- not only that, but they give me five thousand dollars. Excuse me while I go get myself a Casio Cassiopeia, load it up with software, pick up a cell phone with a Fido on it, and bang, I'm instantly next. All the maps of Germany. Right now, you want to fuck with me? With me? <laughs> Telephone Are you director fucking of Germany. insane? I'm a gadget fiend. In Germany, I'll own it. You can't fuck with me. <laughs> Hi, you're on What the Hell? Who's this? Hey, it's Storm Zero again. I just had this funny-ass idea for what you could do on the reality run once you do win. What's that? Okay, when you're in Germany, you ever see that movie Mrs. Doubtfire? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, to dress up as a woman? Fucking as a... think about it. They would never guess. Oh, I'm all over that. Not only that, it's called the minute I hit there, I start jacking myself with slim fast shapes. I'll lose 30 pounds inside of a week. I've done it before. I've done it before. I did it when I was in the army. I shaved my head. I changed my contact eye color. I fucking piss myself and pour booze all over myself and wander around the streets like a fucking vagrant person. Everybody knows those vagrant people are invisible. Nobody sees them. No one's going to walk up and talk to them. He's some fucking stubble-ridden man. I'll be a different fucking guy every week or girl or fucking homosexual or whatever it is. I'll be wearing leather hot pants, (laughs) hanging at raves, fucking going to business suits, lying in conferences, man. Oh, fuck. It's a clown suit. Okay, Sean, the reality hunter for five dollars with a coffee cup or something. Yeah, that's it's right. perfect. Actually, you'd be walking around uh, ranting to yourself, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll be you're talking like a fucking nice. You're, you're uh, gonna uh, be one of those people that I cross the street away from. And not only that, if I want to join a cult, I'd kill all of you. I'll kill a... all of you. Not only that, but then maybe people would start paying attention to some homeless people. <laughs> Wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah. Eh? Wouldn't that? Are you Sean Kennedy, the fucking man? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. And, and, and ne- never underestimate the stench of urine for its power to keep people away from you. That's no, right. No go, fucking doubt. Go through all the d- the department stores and spray all the cologne on you. And I'm sorry, someone's got to walk up to me and ask me. I'm sorry, you know when someone's going to open their mouth. So after that, it turns into a running game. Yep. Hey, aren't you? Bang, I'm gone. I've, jumped, <laughs> I've fucking broken glass, thrown it in their face, and I'm running like a fucker. Well, thank, thanks for the suggestion. Say what the hell. What the hell? All right. Right on. Anybody else have some more suggestions how to Sean to evade? Oh, don't worry about the evasion, boys. I got that all sorted out. Okay, we're going to be rolling oh in school all over again. Oh, it's going to Sh- be. Sean is the past master at not being seen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Hi, you're on What the Hell? Who's this? Babsy May. Babsy. What? Who? Babsy Mary? Babsy May. I'm a friend of Skip Radio. Ah, Babsy ah, May. Ah, Babsy May. Skip Radio's friend. How you doing? That's who we need to talk to. <laughs> How's Skip? Yes, I got a phone call at my house today, and I wasn't home, and it was for him. That's right. Yeah, we're trying to get in touch with him to uh, to send him the the shit for the conference. Is okay, well, I'll tell you something. He's been gone for about two weeks, and I have no fucking idea where the hell he is at this moment. Now, I was speaking with. Some, is this this is his girlfriend, correct? No, the, his girlfriend was at my house. Tonight, and we were looking for him, and we were wondering if he was listening in, and nobody knows where the hell he is right now. Uh, he's not here. We don't actually know where Skip Radio <laughs> is. And, uh, no, honest, honest to God, uh, we need to find him, too. Yeah. So if anybody listening out there uh, has contact with Skip Radio, could you get him to phone in or phone Fo- home? Phone or- Babsy Mayer. Phone somebody. Where the fuck is Skip? And because, uh, I mean, we need, we, need to, we need to hear that from the guy, and he's going to be doing this, the H2K thing. And all of a sudden, he fell off the fucking planet. So, Babsy, I'm here to tell you, sweetie, if I, if I knew where he was, I'd tell you right now. I really would. But but I don't. 
Well, if you need an address or something, I sent in my application. Well, I sent in just a little email tonight to your nice little join at dot org thing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm I'm completely computer retarded. <laughs> but she needs to send it to a different email address for an address, right? Yeah, you Sean? you have to if you're gonna if you're gonna send me an email. Um, I I have an address there, but that's okay. E email your address to uh, Sean K. All one word, Sean K at thecult.org. Okay. Good. The other one's just okay. Let me let me type this one up here because like my whole, I I've been told this like twenty times by Skip and he just doesn't write it down for me. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Because the other one is an automated response. Yeah. And he won't get it. Yeah. That's right. I didn't get a damn thing yet. Oh, okay. Do you have a? Uh, do you have the? Uh, are you ready? Yes. Okay. It's Sean S E A N K huh? at uh huh. The cult, one word, cult with a K. Of course. Dot org. So read it back to us after. Sean S E A N at the cult dot org. No, it's it's Sean K at. I'm the K. Okay, it's Sean K at the cult dot org. Okay, I got it. Okay. Excellent. So keep us updated on. Uh, his address or something. I can help you out with that because I know he's supposed to be going to this thing what, Thursday start Thursday get on the bus Thursday is, is, or something is this weird for him to do this or does he do this a lot he does this a lot oh does he, he just fucks off for like two weeks at a time yeah so we shouldn't be concerned about his safety is what I'm saying yeah he I've been warned about this by him and his family <laughs> Okay, so he just, well, that's all good. No, that's all good. I mean, I can understand. Sometimes you just got to fuck off. You know what I mean? There's times when that happens. Um, but in any case, great. Send me that address, and we'll fire off some the shit the, the package for him, okay? Okay, I'll do that. I'll send you his address, and I, I would just love to blare it to everybody and have him, like, send him, you know, random mail. But, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, all, that's all good. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> Th thank you very, very much. Say what the hell. What the hell. Right on. All right. Okay, so we have a location to send the stuff to. Yep. I It'd be mean, better if we knew that he was, he's probably going to be there. I'm thinking. He's going to go to this big event. Well, he's got to, we I mean, he's going to go home and talk to somebody because he's got to get this package and he knows this package is Yeah, he's, he, he knows it's waiting for him, so. Hi, Aaron, what the hell, who's this? Hey, this is Balkans John. Hey, Balkans John, long Holy time shit. no here. Hey, wow. Where are you calling from, buddy? Uh, actually, I'm back in America. Ah. Right on. Which is why I'm calling. This place sucks. <laughs> America sucks. Where Where are you about in America, buddy? Uh, I'm in I'm in Indiana. I'm at the folks' place. Right on. Yeah. Right on. You should uh, You should send one in and uh, sign up for. I mean, if there's anyone who was ever a Ronin from day one, I mean, it's got to be you. Uh, you should send one off to join so we can uh, list you in the site. That way, we can give updates to all the cult people as to where you are and stuff. That'd be really cool. If you're into that. If you're into that. So uh, what's What's on your mind, John? I just want to let you guys know this place sucks. I'm going back. <laughs> going back to Bosnia? Yeah. Atta boy. Atta boy. I'll put together a whole rant on it on my way out. Excellent. Yes. Do that. Do that. Your stuff's great, man. All right. Th I'm glad you're safe, and uh, God bless, okay? Take care, man. What the hell? All right. Cool. John, I he's... See he's still drawing breath. Yeah, I'm yep. glad he's, he's kicking <laughs> around. That's very cool. Falcons John. Balkans John is very, very fucking sweet. And it's over. You know, it's... And it's over? It is over. I'm very hot. Yeah, I'm very you, you know, too. it says know something why. though when when somebody who's spent time in Bosnia says comes back to the states and goes, "Wow, this place sucks." What does that say for Indiana? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, yeah, no doubt. All right, so that's it. Don't call in anymore. We're not answering the phone. We're turning it off. We're turning off. There the it is. Phone. The phone is it off. It is 11:03. That's it. Mm. But don't worry. Minutes. If we can get, did we post the uh, address for the reality run? URL? Oh yeah, it's all up there. It's all up there. The guys are on it. So do not worry. If we can do this, you'll have 24 days of 24, 24 hours a day of Sean K coming at you live from fucking Berlin. And How who doesn't want that? that? I mean, there's not a hope in hell that this is going to happen. <laughs> but uh, update, update, update. You guys have wanted it. You guys really need it. Within the next few weeks, we're going to have cult clothing available. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. And it How is, tasty is that? This Now... You're going to be having, you guys are going to be having, uh, most of this stuff is going to be like, well, in American dollars, it's going to be really cheap because I'm basing it all on Canadian prices. So you guys are going to have really fucking like good, it's going to be the same prices as everybody else's t-shirts in American money, but 
holy fuck, am I ever getting the top of the line shit? Mm -hmm. Everything's the best embroidery you can get on the best clothing you can get. You're going to be able to wear this shit with pride. People will look at that and go, holy fuck, what organization is that? This isn't some fucking weak thing we're putting together. Somebody's it's going to be It's going to be mighty. It's I can hear it buzzing. Oh, I got somebody calling. So yeah. Drexel wanted to come to the show. He said he set his alarm, but uh, uh, did, did not wake him up. But uh, he must have been really tired Weak from yesterday. Weak excuse. Well, uh, sit out in the other room. I can hear it in the speakers going, and it's really quiet. Really quiet. Somebody is trying to get a hold of Sean, and maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a member. Maybe it's Skip. Maybe our far-reaching fingers have found Skip somewhere out there. If it's Skip, uh, <laughs> phone back. You got a pretzel on your ass, Sean. Do I? Got a pretzel on your ass? It oh, my gone. God. Wow, you're amazing. You can pull anything out of your ass, even pretzels. So we're going to say goodbye to everyone on the IRC. Thanks for hanging in for the whole show. And I know it's not 26 hours, but, hey, <laughs> two hours is better than Hot nothing. Hot dogs and pretzels. It's Oktoberfest. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, celebrating Sean, Berlin early. Sean showing his goods? <laughs> I am, though. He's, he he's, almost, he he's got blending the right cam in. From me here. All right. So, so going around the room, let's say goodbye. Oh, we got to do it in the IRC first. Oh, okay. Sorry. So Never we mind. got uh, Mr. Echo, Cenobites, DJ Intensity, Ofi Dofi, Deckers, Demon Seed, Integrate, Lieutenant Major Zombie, Test Rider for uh, Flesh Trippers, Forensic, Roos Durr, uh, for Gargoyles, Apoc, Adam, Caponex, KG, HI, MTR, Enki, Nomads, Buck X, Skitty, uh, Skitty, Street Preacher, Prophets, Nixter, for Quoth, Rancid Girl, Scribe, Smokehouse, Soylent, Ozer Store, and Vampire Asmodee. Balkans, John, Drexel, Ellis from Geek News, Playla, and Pele. And uh, Emperor Chang just joined. So we'll go around the room here. Uh, go. Um, can I just quickly say first, Anki, fucking call me. Um, it's, uh, you know who it is. And just fucking call me bitch. Anyways, bye bitch. from DJ blah, 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 Glade. Insert name here. Bet. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> Ronan nope. Medic, wishing you all a safe and happy holiday. That's right. Drive safely. It's a holiday? <laughs> it was. Well, Drive we, safely. We, last week. And uh, this is Sean Gary the fucking man saying uh, this is going to rock. We are going to take it absolutely to the streets. This is going to be fucking amazing. That's all well and good. That's all well and good. It's all <laughs> And it's all it's well all, and good. It's all well and good. And we got uh, Oof stretching the mic, pulling, uh, go. Oh, you're still working? Closer, closer. There you go. And now, from wonderful Studio 29, high atop the Langley Communication Towers, you've been listening to What the Hell on Rant Radio. Thank you very much. And this is Sumerian uh, saying, uh, tell your friends, tell your enemies, spread the virus, and you will be hearing from us again. In six days and 22 hours, we will not fail you. And uh, vote for Sean, and we will keep you updated on the webpage on uh, how that's progressing, and I will, uh, I will bug the hell out of those guys to give him back his votes, because they said they would. Okay, and I don't have anything queued up, but it will be in one second. Here it Gums, yeah, mm, I would queue up Gum to Daddy, but I do not have it. Oh, well, maybe I will have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna queue that up because it's really fucking cool. <laughs> oh, gum to Daddy. Just before gum, we go, have we got daddy. the new Smokehouse promo in? You don't. It have wasn't it? on the FTP site. Oh God, he sent it to me. I thought he sent it to you too. No, nope. that's okay. We'll be playing that next week. See, we're we are not of one mind. So Smokehouse, we I did have it, but that's my fault. I fucked up. Everybody say Sean fucked up. Sean, Sean fucked, fucked up. up. So that's okay. But we'll be putting that in rotation this week, and you'll be able to hear it. And it's a fucking cool one. Wow, this is slow. Everything's slow. Are we still broadcasting? No, no, no. I'm just slow on my side here in the internal Are network. Are we still broadcasting though? Oh, there it is. Of course, we're still broadcasting. We're going to play... Oh, Come yeah. to daddy. Come to daddy. So, uh, the theme for the run reality run Yep. is yeah. this song here. So we can actually play this everywhere. You can play it while it's happening. This will be the theme. <laughs> well, this and probably NWA's 100 Miles and Running. Oh, yeah. But That's uh, the one. this one here is unofficially... <laughs> this is the theme for the voting. And so vote away, vote now, vote often, and we'll make sure we add the, the other ones to these ones so it doesn't matter. So here's Apex Twin. Until then, uh, we're out of here. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. <laughs>